What's up, guys? How's it going? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still a little bit sick. What's up? Hey, how's it going, man? In the beginning. What up? I still need to create a loot filter, so I'm gonna do that real quick, boys. What's the new build gonna be? Oh, baby. It's gonna be a juicer. That's what it's gonna be. Gonna be a juicer. <laughs> that's, the, uh, that's the only hint you're getting there. <laughs> Uh, what icon? I don't even know. Whatever. Alright, let me throw together something really quick. Something functional while leveling. Weapons I even want to use while leveling. I don't know how how much I might have to play a little bit differently while I'm actually leveling. I kind of need a lot of points to get the build going. I'll probably just play as melee, honestly. You sound rough still, sheesh. Yeah. Yeah, a little rough. A little rough. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm just going to create, like, the, uh... The fastest loot filter ever. Something that will at least work. I can craft most of my gear anyways, doesn't really matter. I'm just looking through stats guys, sorry. He's just role playing most primalists sound like this. True, 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 true. <laughs> oh, I think the rest of them I'm gonna. Probably just do... I don't think I want to use a Catalyst. While leveling at least. Yeah, whatever, I'll leave them on there. Hey, Risky. Thanks for giving Manuel this help, man. I appreciate you. I had 26 and swap right into Melee Cinder Strike, and I've been uh, having a blast. Nice, good, dude. Nice. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Good Monday, Loaf and Company. Hey, Mr. Ris Risky Lover. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? How's it going? Sorry, guys. I'm just uh putting together a, a very quick loot filter here. I didn't prep it last night because I forgot, so we'll uh, we'll have to deal with my mistakes. <clears throat> 
So I'm just going to put together like the fastest loop filter in the world. Uh, is there anything else I really care about? I don't think so, honestly. All right, I am going to set up a proper filter for the idols, though, because the idols are more typically a big pain in the ass to get, so... All right, so we got grand idols. Alright, I think I'll get the job done for now. Won't be too bad. Hey, Risky, thanks for giving Halo a sub, man. I appreciate you. Uh, Primalist, Storm Stacks. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh-oh. Not again, not like this. It was different, I swear. Not empowered yet, but I'm making my way there. Damage hasn't fallen off yet, that's good. Are you feeling a little bit better? I'm trying, I'm trying. This kid's crazy generous, so just in case, don't uh, give me subs. I got my prime later today. Hey, there you go. What's the plan? The plan is to kick ass. That's the plan. How do you guys feel about kicking ass? I'm so stoked. Finally got a day off the 22nd to spend a day and night with my uh, new lady friend. Nice, dude. Nice. I like it. Don't have any AOE. Ultra attack speed melee pew pew? What? I don't know. I don't know, man. We'll see. We will see. I'm fucking up these bugs, that's what. Alright, Wolf, I need you to kill these guys. There we go. Give me something real to cast. Someone is having a good time. Yeah. Risky has been having a good time, that's for sure. Going clothes shopping, I have terrible taste in clothing now that I'm fat. She can help me out. Dude, you gotta get those, uh, you ever get those advertisements on, like, Facebook and stuff for the, uh, the dad tees that are, like, a little bit tighter up top to kind of make you look buff, but they, uh, they help hide your gut a little bit? I've been kind of wanting to try them. <laughs> They say I'm kind of legit. Now Facebook is going to spam me with those ads since I just said that out loud, but, you know, it is what it is. Can't dress like a, a douchey frat boy now that I'm no longer buff. Yeah, I feel ya, I feel ya. I hate these dang birds, man. Some thick man boobies. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. Alright, we got our leap. Keep 
bad. How does your right uh, most slot work? Um, this one? Oh, it's uh, it's tied to one of my uh, keypad buttons. Uh, it's it's because when I set up my um, my rune master, so it has two keybinds set up to it. It, it's both uh, my right click and it's bound to a keypad number. So that way, if I wanted to set up an auto cast, uh, I could numlock it. Oh, this guy's getting the business. Maximum DPS. Two-handed axe already? Oh, dude, we're we're busting. These guys are about to get fucked up. The tight up top, no good. I'm fancy, thanks for the info. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, you can uh You can keep buying multiple things. To like multiple uh, binds. Makes it easier for some builds. <clears throat> I picked up the instant cast falconer node and it's kind of uh, dope. Yeah, that one's uh, really key. A lot, almost every build uses that, I feel like. All right, boys, we ready? We ready? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not today. Not today, Satan. All right, uh, what do I want to level with? I probably got some random uniques in here that I could uh, slap on. What's a low level unique that would be good for me? 27. Mm. Too bad my minions can't use that. Otherwise, that'd be pretty OP. Hey, Risky, thanks for giving Shadow a sub, man. Thank you. I may have accidentally removed my Druid and Wraith Lord from SAF now. I have nothing for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta load up their inventory so they at least have a little bit because it carries their inventory over with them. I didn't think this far ahead, boys. About like what to actually level with. Requires level six. That's actually not bad, just because it gives me like lightning damage. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll use that guy. And I guess I can use some of the uh, the rings if I have them laying around. Those do tend to uh, help out a little bit. What are they called? <laughs> Font of the Erase. Oh, they require level 15, but still, not too bad. Hey, Risky. Thanks for the gifted to, uh, to Via Vat. I appreciate you, my guy. B Sword OP. It does have decent cast speed, doesn't it? It's not, uh, not too bad. Do you have lesson boots? They're like level one. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I think I do. I can take a look here in a second. Let me grab a couple of these uh these ringies here. See if I have any with uh some juicer stats on it ready to go. I think that's pretty much it. So maybe I'll just uh maybe I'll just level a couple of them. Yeah, they're not bad. Um, I can use it. No, I, I honestly think I can just craft a better pair, honestly. I just slap uh, Arbrails, uh on the rings and then move speed. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad either. 
I'm gonna grab a couple items to craft real quick too. I do want to use a scepter, I think. I think scepters would be a uh, BOP. Grab my helmet, that. Uh, buy some of the rings for now. Vitality is not bad. Alright. Let's throw that guy away. So I think I can just uh, throw on shared lightning damage. Uh, be better. That would apply to the melee and the uh, and the other one. Oh, that's it, huh? All right. So, I need at least one necrotic res roll. We'll put that on here. Put another Ellie res. Necrotic. That helps if I can spell. Easy gaming. Like probably Void Ellie. Those are gonna be the most important early on. Alright, we're gaming now. He didn't have any shields on him, did he? No? Okay. We are gaming, brothers. I think there is an autocast build with five autocasts that's viable. Uh, oh, just to, like, put all of your keybinds on autocast? You realistically can only have, like, one ability that has an actual cast time on it, on an autocast, to make it feel comfortable. So I don't know any class that has four instant cast abilities that would actually synergize together. On the Rings from Seed. More leveling duels, I'm doing it on my uh, Falconer right now. Yeah. Weaver will boots ain't bad. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. The Weaver will boots aren't bad. Not bad at all. Oh, these guys are getting the business. The business right now. Stormcrow Shaman, it will not be a Shaman. Also, Stormcrow is one of my least favorite abilities in the game because Stormcrows are fucking booty. They can do a lot of damage, but they cannot survive a sneeze from eight screens over when you're pushing high corruption. Now I play uh, Frostbite, Druid, and Low Life Earthquake, but I want to try Squirrels, and I also want to try Shaman. Yeah, Shaman's kind of whatever. Shaman's really only good if you're, uh... 
if you're playing like a transformation shaman, in which case it's not really a shaman, right? It's basically just a druid. What the hell was that jump? I probably should have just put on a bleeding heart too. That probably would have been the play, just for the leech. Even if I lose a little bit of res. Oh, get wrecked. I had no idea what who he's dealing with. Oh, we're swipe boys now. Wait, that's at level five. Oh, it's level six. Okay. Is he making a druid or beast master? Uh, it will be a druid. It will be a druid. I know we theory craft a beastmaster the other day, but uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be doing a druid. I theory crafted some stuff last night that I think will be uh pretty cool, pretty cool. Bleeding Heart is uh, too OP early on. Yeah, just having that amount of leech so early is uh, is really good. Storms grow 50 50 maelstrom werebear uh well we're gonna be doing some transformation stuff we're gonna be doing some transformation stuff for sure Claw is also pretty decent early since you get the extra wolf and flat HP. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. I didn't even think about the claw. Movement speed and attack speed. Let's go, baby. Oh, look at that giga attack speed, though. This guy's getting wrecked. I just keep dropping helms, but I want a plus three summon helm. Only been dropping plus one or plus two. Oh, yeah, yeah. The lightning wolf. Twitch said you're conducting risky business. <laughs> yeah. Could be, could be.
Have you ever played a Beastmaster Ice uh, Tiger build? I have not. I'm not a big fan of like your typical one minion builds, especially. It's because they uh, they lack so much clear. I pretty much run the same gear for every character I level, yeah. I don't really put too much thought into it. I kind of enjoyed the journey when you're leveling. That's not too bad. Like having a couple items that make it a little bit smoother is pretty decent, but yeah, I don't go too much uh, past that typically. Alright, there's my gloves. I don't know why I'm picking up shards and dropping them. I'm going squirrels, but I need the plus three squirrel helmet, even at 300 corruption, it's acting iffy. Yeah, it's hard to keep the squirrels alive a little bit. Um, I know with my build, but this was like when the squirrel f build first became a thing, is I ran a bunch of stuff that would automatically cast Eternal Blessing, and it would cast it on the nearest ally that had the lowest health, and that kind of like helped me uh, sustain them, on top of like their leech and getting like armor for them and stuff like that, but... Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit rough. A dream catcher. I do want those booties though. <laughs> the leap act's so funny sometimes. Sometimes I'll like angle it to like jump across something and it'll go like two feet in front of me. And other times it'll go like eight screens over. The old classic uh, fire uh, first starter calamity prism wraps and two burial rings. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Go for the attack speed. I think that'll make uh, things feel nice. Automatically, I like one minion builds. So I usually play uh, RPGs, not ARPGs. You change the perspective when playing this game. Yeah, typically having the more minions is definitely better. Gives you much better uh, clear speed. No, take me instead. Hey Paka, how's it going, man? Just got here. This build is going to be uh, playable on controller. Um, probably. Sorry, sorry, YouTube. I uh, I had another tab open and I didn't see you guys sitting. So my my bad, guys. Yeah, probably will be. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Alex. Hey, what's the new character? Uh, Druid or Beastmaster? It's gonna be a Druid. It's gonna be a Druid. Hey, Risky. Thanks for giving Paka a sub, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Your leap is one of the most satisfying button presses in the game. True, Dan. I like to level without any uh, twin gear so I can figure out how it's going to feel on next league cert. Yeah, I, I try not to go too heavy into it, but just a little bit, it's, uh, it's, it makes it a little bit smoother. Even with a little bit of twin gear, I can get a pretty good feel for it, though. So anyways, I'm going to try not to cough in your ear, but... Sometimes that's going to be a little bit hard. What kind of scepter we get? Melee attack speed. Yeah, scepters are good because they give you melee uh, damage and then uh, melee stats as well as giving you uh, spell damage. So it's pretty good for the uh, gathering storms. Ill, you like scepters? I regret my subs, right? <laughs> Scepter gaming. 
How's the uh, how's the PoE stuff going for you, Paka? Are you enjoying the league? It's okay, not like last league, that's for sure. Yeah, I've been having a hard time keeping my attention. I, I haven't played in two days. I was really uh, I was really busy with content creation and stuff, um, but I just didn't really have a desire to play when I finished. I was so tired and stuff, I'm just like, eh, it's not that fun. So it's kind of whatever. My wolf died. I can resummon him here in a second. Go, doggo! No, doggo, no! Not like this! Oh my god. The failed leap, I was looking at chat. Just taking it easy on this one. Gonna make an aura bot for the boys, yeah, nice. Wow, I just dropped a uh, 200c on this one run. <laughs> what? Two hundred C. What are you talking about? You're not playing Poe. Get out of here, Risky. <laughs> uh, John Wick, this guy. He killed my dog. Done. Messed up. As a melee, that's like impossible to dodge. Just gonna eat it. Whatever. <laughs> what the heck was that? What just happened? Oh my gosh. Game is too good. Game is too good. I just got messed up. Um, I mean, we can go to Wolf. We'll do it for now. Where's their leech node at? They have a leech node somewhere. Oh, I didn't see it. Okay. We were not going to get that far, though. Yeah, okay, let's give him damage. Alright. <laughs> Supposed to be using a scepter on my paladin, the fire starter, and I drop fourth LP3s and seven LP2s, but can't find any exalted scepters with Caspi. It's like, where are they at, though? Yeah, sometimes getting the exalted item to slam is harder than getting the, the legendary potential, for sure. For sure. You got any new goodies for me?
Uh, I don't really like the dodge rating on the chest piece. Yeah, it doesn't look like she does have any new goodies for me. Uh, let me change the weapons. I don't want it to show all the weapons, I just want scepters. Alright. Yeah, you trying to you trying to pull one over on Paka? Howdy y'all. Hey, what's up, Don? How's it going, man? Uh, for the Holy Fire Paladin, did you update the planner to have the Divine Bolt? Sorry, uh, did you respond? I had a phone call. No worries, Will. No, dude, I'm in. I'm a little sick, guys. So I'm gonna be a little bit sluggish on on reading stuff. I apologize. I'm kind of low energy today. Um, if you look at the second video, the updated video for the Paladin, that has a planner on there that's up to date. Yeah, well, kind sir. Thank you. Thank you, man. I'm just really prone to get sick a lot. <laughs> I was sick for a majority of the last Epoch launch, too, man. Yeah, I probably just got sick when uh, when we were at the hospital with my son. Cool, but I'm leveling, so I still use the first video for now. Um, I think it's better to, to level with the first video, because Divine Bolts only work if it's healing you. So you have to have that ward conversion node for it to heal you on every cast. The more I think about this, I think it'll actually be better for me just to level swipe. Even if I'm not using it for the time being. healing effectiveness apply to regen no so you have base health regen and then you have uh increased health regen and because it's technically not a heal it's a it, it's a regen which accounts as a different thing in this game My dog go back. <laughs> yeah, well, honestly, the uh, the first video for the Paladin was one of the smoothest leveling experiences I've ever had. Because just using Smite and Healing Hands on top of Smite, it like one shots everything. So I think that's easier than trying to worry about uh, doing the ward conversion early on.
Oh. oh boy, I'm dying. I think it's possible to use talons of valor bow with shadow daggers falconer, but instead of uh uh daggers. Yeah, there's a uh there's a shadow daggers falconer build that uses that bow. Pretty sure, at least. Oh, my lead's too strong. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. Like one of the worst parts about seeing being sick, boys, is like that achy pain in your body. My back is fucking on fire right now. Holy. Tempest Strike, oh yeah! Decent amount of uh, pack size here, we'll get some XP. Alright, picks up most of it. How are the doggos? Are we talking about in-game doggo or are we talking about IRL doggo? In-game doggos died a few times. <laughs> IRL doggo? Those doggos are doing good, man. They're doing good.
See if I can shove him over there next to his buddies. That way I can cleave them all down. You go that way. Hey, Ritsky, thanks for giving Ben a sub, man. Thank you, thank you. You're kind, sir. Hey, I got a shield finally. Same sick as before. Um, I, I don't know. I, I went to the hospital with my son, uh, last week, and I think I probably just picked something up when I was there. So, it's either that or it's just, like, really, really bad allergies, but I don't know, man. Because I thought it was allergies at first. How do people build swipe? Yeah, I don't, I don't I don't know how this ability works, honestly. I think you just go with like attack speed, right? I don't know. Something like that. We'll call it a day. Yeah, what, what do you got for me, vendor? Nope, didn't mean to click that one. Not a whole lot, honestly. That's alright. I forgot you could craft on my, uh, on my booties. Add some movement speed to these bitches. Can't do any upgrades. Probably not in this one either, yeah. Alright, I'll level some more, then I'll worry about it. Are you going melee? For the time being, yeah. It'll be easier for me to go melee while leveling, but we'll break away from it. Class will be zero, so yeah, definitely helps. It's crazy how much more expendable income you can have when you're uh, when you when you don't have like rent or anything. It is nuts. I wanted to do a giant leap down there, but the game just said no. Too much fun.
Just rinse out it. Nah, you're good, dude. IRL, IRL doggos, yeah, yeah, well, they're doing good, man. It was kind of funny when I was, uh, when my son was in the hospital, we thought we were going to have to stay the night, the first night. And so I, uh, went and dropped my dogs off at their, uh, their groomers because she was going to watch them for the night. And my small doggo, Moody, who's like three pounds, was terrified because she had a bunch of, like, giant poodles there that were staying. When I first went, uh, she kept like crying every time they'd get near her, like they were gonna like kill her or something. And by the time I got back uh, to pick them up, she was running that whole joint. She probably picked the biggest dog and then just beat the shit out of him or something. I was like, "This is this is my bitch now." <laughs> she was like huffing up her chest and like acting all bossy when I got there. I think I. Uh... I think I went the wrong way. I don't think I want to go to Upper Diff Circle. What am I doing? This feels wrong. <laughs> I feel like this is the wrong way. Maybe not? I don't know. I feel like it was supposed to lead the other way. I think I can still technically go this way. Both ways are good, but I think the other way is faster. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. I'll deal with it. This is the void timeline, everything's wrong. <laughs> True. Deal with all these range guys first. Man, I hate the early levels of Primalist so much. If I was playing Mage, I could just one-shot all of these guys. I guess I could just level it like the auto bomber shaman. That was actually pretty fast on leveling once I set it up properly. I finally got my crit avoidance blessing max roll avoidance. Hey, nice dude, nice. That would probably be the smartest way. I know I keep respecting boys, but. Go for the uh, slumber stacks into lightning bolt. That would that would probably be ideal. And we can go for these guys next. Thanks for that sub on YouTube, guys. I appreciate you. All right, now we're back at this boss. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you can get to this boss way faster going the other way. I don't know why I went the wrong way. Who killed my doggo? Must have been a while ago because his cooldown's back up. Oh, you redeemed pet a doggo? Hey, which which dog you want? Aw oh, man, that means I'm gonna have to go on stream. <laughs> it's alright, I'll deal with it. What what, what doggo you want, Ben? Once we uh once I kill this boss, I'll uh, I'll grab him for you. You guys can see my, my ugly sick self. 
My totems don't stay alive on this guy, it's so annoying. Neither will my doggo. Try to interrupt him. You got this, doggo. You got this. I hate that it does the entire lava pool, even if I interrupt him. Hey, doggo stayed alive. Let's go. The left one? <laughs> Which one's the left one, Ben? <laughs> I don't, I don't think one of them's a left doggo and one of them's a right doggo. Got a, we got Moody or a Odie. That Forge just looks drunk, yeah, when he's swinging. <laughs> it's like somebody asking, they're like, uh, do you want chocolate or vanilla ice cream? And then you're like, uh, the left one? And there you can't see the ice cream. They were just asking you in general because they were going to go to the kitchen and grab it. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, Andy throws up. Good point, good point. Moody? Okay, all right. I'll grab Moody after this, son. She's around here somewhere. She typically doesn't go too far. She's very needy. I can't see the dogs either. Yeah. No, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll turn the camera on for a second. I'll turn the camera on. I don't know why I'm fighting these guys. They have more health. It's going to take forever. Alright, let me go get Moody. Moody! So excited? Alright, let me put my hood on because my hair is a mess. Hey, don't go running off! Come here! All right, let's see. Camera. All right, there we go. There's Moody for you. <laughs> Being a good girl. She was very excited when I called for her. So <laughs> she was doing little spinnies in the in my office. <laughs> Getting her little Pollux in. Oh, Moody. You love being on camera? Yeah. Alright, you can go back to doing whatever it is that you're doing. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna turn the camera back off. <laughs> Moody knows that's the right one. That was the right one? Oh no, yes for the left one though. Dang it. I went the wrong way. Nope, I should have skipped the lightning phase instead of the cold phase. And now my dog's dead. I'll see it for the lightning phase next time. And on this side.
I think I just tanked that. Yeah, it did almost no damage. I think I technically blocked it too, so... That's gonna hurt the doggo. Yup. Wait for it to take once. Interrupt. Alright. Get wrecked. What's up? Uh, what does the interrupt? Uh, the shout Warcry. Yeah, Warcry does like a little stun. So if you time it right, you can't do it before they do the attack. You gotta do it right as they start the attack. And then if you stun them, it'll just skip it to the next, uh, whatever the next spell is in their arsenal. So that way you just, like, don't have to deal with it. So because I'm playing melee, it was just easier to, uh, to interrupt the lightning thing, because then I can still stand in melee range the whole time. All right, boys, shaman time. No, I'm just kidding. Humble bear. I might not even use the bear, honestly. I might just go slumber stacks. I don't know. Let me look at the bear again, real quick. Maybe I don't need to go Slumber Stacks. Maybe I can just go full bear and do that. I need to get to level 20 regardless so I can start like specking into stuff, but. Like, I can use default bear. See how it feels. I go into the lightning bolts next on Maelstrom though. Didn't mean to click that one. Mid that XP. Yes. Any upgrades for me or or what? Not really. She doesn't have an upgraded scepter, I guess. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll still do attack speed. That's fine for now. Uh, a little bit less on there, but I think the flat damage will outweigh it. Hello, Mr. Love. Thank you for streaming. Of course, Julian. Of course, man. How you doing? Thank you for being here. Yeah, let's see how let's see how base wear bear feels. Rar. I'm a bear. Bear goes swipe. I lose rage so fast without any of the stuff spec for it. Yeah, I'll probably ignore bear for now then. So I'm not gonna be able to stay in it very long until I get like another 20, 30 levels. So I'll probably just go uh I'll probably just go with the shout next. So I can actually use that in Werebear too. And I'll just auto bomb my way through the leveling process. I think that'll probably be the best way to do it. Oh, 
required. There's so many of them. And my dog goes dead. Yeah, this one's always kind of a little sketchy right here. Oh, but now I got this melee attack speed. What's up? Not really worth killing all those cats. <laughs> those guys are so tanky, it's better for me just to go. What, what is going on with this dude? Hey, you good? You good, doggo? Because you're like dead, but not dead. I don't know how that works. Yeah, he's good now. I'm rich. But yeah, I'm like drastically under leveled with how bad melee is. I guess I should stop and actually like kill some stuff. I'm like four levels under leveled right now. I got my uh my ascendancy at level twelve. <laughs> that's uh that's pretty low. That's pretty low. I don't know why I keep trying to go melee. Melee is so bad early on. Like so much worse on Prime List than anything else. I'm a burf. Offensively blows, I hate how they're set up rogue. Yeah. Yeah, rogues are very squishy early on for sure. I can't move my character out of the void stuff, so I died. R.I.P. Well, there's my first death. I could've used Trample, I'm just bad with playing Bear. So, definitely my fault. Alright, once I get the third skill, and then I can, uh... spec into Warcry, and then I can just automate all my lightning, it'll be a lot better.
Uh, feel the melee? Yeah, I feel melee, that's for sure. I definitely feel it. I keep trying, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do melee, and then I get absolutely dick slapped. I feel like I do less damage with my melees and bear. Like I'm better off just staying human for him. What shrine do we got? Sun chance? Alright. That'll help. We got a lot of uh density here. Let's take out the caster first. Sadly I can't prioritize where my lightning bolts go. I need the XP's. Yeah, I should have learned my lesson when I leveled my Shaman on how to properly do this. I should have just leveled it the same exact way. That's all right. Once I get to level twenty, I'll get the third skill, and then we'll be uh, we'll be groovy. Primalist is definitely the worst leveling experience out of any class, though, in my opinion. I'd rather level a forge guard, so I could just go hammers. Ouch. Oh my god, the caster has a res thing too. Nice, I love that. I love it. That's so sick. I'm gonna get him, boys. Easy. All right, let's start going towards the uh, the lightning stuff. Hey, Halo! Thanks for the hydrate, man. I know you guys can't see, but I got you. Finishing up my coffee here. Finding specific pieces of gear, like uh, their kit is just 70% chance I don't die, that's my defense, dodge or die, yeah. Rogue is paper thin, yeah for sure. Rogue don't have crap for defenses, that's, that is for sure. Serpent strike. Who are you? I feel like my dog at this point is actually kind of useless. Is there another ability I can just throw on there? I guess I can just do the totems, right? He just dies too fast. At least with the bear, even though I do less damage, he gives me more health. It's kind of helped me get away. I'm trying out Shadow Dagger Falconer right now. I don't know how I'll do it. Higher Corruption, but I'm chilling right now. Yeah, Shadow Dagger Falconer is pretty good. Not bad. Pretty good build. Could be worse. He could be uh, playing a Primalist.
Alright, first one's down. The other one should walk up this way eventually. Level 16, baby. Where the money now? Not really, but we're getting there. I might want to grab that bleeding heart too. I feel like that would make a pretty big difference. Got our waypoint. This guy's crawling towards us. Stairs are probably not the best place to fight this guy, because it's hard to see where the attacks are actually going. See if I can get him to move out here a little bit. My totems next to the caster. I'm uh, out of potions. I'm gonna grab these three right here. Oh, we got both of them at the same time. I love that. That's so cool. Dead. Pick up the shards, please. Yeah. Got a little health regen piece. Not bad. What do I have on there now? Just Ellie res. Oh, I have so much gold res. What the hell? Oh, it's from this thing. Okay. It's not bad. I don't think I can craft on that anymore. Oh, I can. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on Fizzrez now. I'm just gonna have to muscle my way through these next couple levels, even though it's gonna take a really long time. It's because Primalist does like no fucking damage. Doing this uh, Cinder Falconer scary. I want to grind and do well, but either I sacrifice all my damage or pray 70% is enough. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be alright. I'm mad at my uh, low life earthquake. Yeah. I, I wanted to legit cry. Yeah, leveling Primalist is so bad, dude. It's so bad. It's like abysmal how bad it is. Every every other class has at least like one skill that's like super OP for leveling. But I don't feel like that exists on the Primalist. I don't know. They, they gotta give it something. I think they were hoping, hoping Gathering Storms would do that. Because they added it as such a low level skill. It's just not there. I can make Cinder always cast first and make it cost like 7 mana, yeah. 
Does your mad lightning rune master use phrase retreat? No, it does not. Nope. All right. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted uh, to go for the Beastmaster stuff first, so they reduce damage taken. Because all of this stuff is only going to apply to me when I'm like transformed. And I uh, don't really care about that. I was planning on taking a few points into here, but... I could also just grab the flat... I should probably just grab the flat spell damage. I need more damage for sure. So I'm actually surprisingly tanky with how many monsters are on the screen. It's just taking me so long to kill them. I'm doing like fucking 30 to 100 damage a hit, whereas like Mage, I could just be using Glacier right now and already be hitting for like 800 to 1000. <laughs> it's fucking nuts the difference between classes. I guess I can throw on some of these rings now, too. None of them have damage, though. They wouldn't help me out too much. Are there any ways, uh, any enemy modifiers you tend to avoid or be wary of when playing hardcore? Uh, you're talking about, like, mono echoes? Like, uh, those, those type of notes? That's the only ones you can really, like, avoid. Um... I'd, I'd probably try to avoid stuff that goes like in rage. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Too much going on. I couldn't mute. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'd probably avoid like in rage. Uh, depending on what class you're playing, if you're playing like a minion focused class, avoid stuff that's like uh, they they're more likely to focus you over your minions. Yeah, it just depends what class you're playing. Uh, you typically want to avoid dodge, because most classes have some kind of like sustain based on hitting monsters. So if you're not able to hit the monsters, then you're not reliably getting your sustain. Do you plan on making any hardcore on stream by any chance? Um, maybe. I did hardcore for like a year, uh, like straight. Um, maybe if I like run out of ideas for builds, it's just harder to make builds on hardcore. Uh, but I do typically try really hard to go deathless for as long as possible. Most of the time, I'm like towards empowered monoliths before I have any issues, even though I'm not like building for hardcore. It's just hard to do on primalist. But I might. Maybe towards like the uh the end of the cycle when I have like less stuff to do. I would be much more in inclined to do that. Yeah, none of these are really gonna increase my damage all that much. I can get the other movement speed ring though. 
I should just be leveling up this guy, honestly. I need the void res for sure. I could lose a little bit of the fizz res. So let me try leveling up some of these rings, see if I uh, can get so many, uh, any OP stats. There's gotta be something in here too that would uh, help me out a little bit. I hardly ever level up Primalist stuff, so I don't really uh, know what the go-to is. That would make me take more damage, but that would give me a chunk. Oh, I guess I could have been using... Uh, I have a 4 LP Hammer of Laurent. That would be that would have been kind of funny. But I don't feel like going and swapping to a different character just uh, to use that. I don't think I'll be proccing the, the boots enough. Hey guys, thanks for the uh, sub on YouTube. I appreciate you. Yeah, most of the stuff's a little bit higher level than what I am right now, sadly. He's a, a regular ladle. The attack speed and the uh, the chance to inflict ailments. <laughs> it would get rid of all my leech, though. Alchemist ladle, there we go. I could use this guy. Although I don't do really any fire damage. Ugh. I don't know. It's probably fine, honestly. We'll just have to muscle our way through it. I don't think there's anything that's going to give me that much of a spike in uh, performance here on this character. Sadly. <clears throat> this stuff's fairly high level to use. I might swap in the Bleeding Heart. We'll see. I just don't want to lose the res right now. I'll keep it on me though, just in case. Yeah, if we did hardcore, I'll probably do all the pally. The the more likely thing that would get me to do hardcore is if there was like a uh, a content creator event or something or some kind of challenge to play on hardcore that would be more likely to get me to play that way I have like a competitive aspect to go towards that'd be a lot more fun for me endurance is not the stat I am looking for Hey, we used Abels all the time back in the day from uh, from Vision, one of the streamers I've rated a few times. Um, but we definitely have less of those now. Hey, kill these little octopus guys first. There's spam and chaos, or uh, void attacks. Chaos. That's Path of Exile. I feel like I'm playing High Corruption with how many times this guy stuns me.
Hey, attaboy. Thanks for the follow, man. How's it going? What, uh, what build are you playing, my guy? I need to get another drink, man. I guess right now is actually the perfect time to do that. I'll be right back. Let me grab a drink in the kitchen. Some levels, almost to the lightning stuff. Should be perfect timing right around when I get to level twenty. Working on paladin, nice man. Which uh, which build are you playing? Are you playing my paladin or a different one? Hey, risky. Thanks for giving Attaboy a sub, man. I appreciate you. God, risky. You're getting up there, dude. You've given three hundred and twenty-one subs, dude. Fucking nuts. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Risky. Thank you, man. Thank you for the 25 gifted. Hey, if you guys got a sub from Risky, make sure you tell him thank you, man. He's the homie. He's single handedly uh, keeping the stream alive, so I appreciate you, man. Let's drop the lightning thing over there. Yours, yes, thank you for the guide. Awesome, dude. Yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it, man. Risky. Hey, dude. <laughs> Calm down, man. Thank you for the additional 50. Holy shit, dude. Thank you, man. Out till next month. You should be out till next year, my guy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. You can technically get this guy to never drop the lightning stuff if you can time your stun just right. Right when he starts channeling it. I think I missed it. Yeah, I did it too early. Thank you, man. Right, let's see if I can get this one. I think I got that one. Yeah, there we go. He didn't put a lightning thing down that time. Hi, guys. Hey, what's up, Circuit? How's it going, man? What up, what up? Good job, Risky, man. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I, however, am going to slightly turn down the alert box because <laughs> we're going to be hearing that for the next, like, fucking hour. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. <clears throat> I bet there's so many people that are so confused with getting gifted subs to my channel. Because I've run out of people in the stream a long time ago <laughs> that are that are getting the gifted subs from Risky. So it's just giving like random ass people these gifted subs and they're probably like, what the heck? Hey Mini, thanks for the follow, man. How's it going? What uh what build are you playing, Mini? Getting close to that level 20. I don't think I can quite get to all the nodes I need to right at level 20. So it'll probably only give me like 4 points. But I think I can get close to the Maelstrom stuff from the Shout. And then once I get that in order, I'll be uh, smooth sailing. And leveling will feel so much better. It's 
Packs are so small, man. I can't get any XP up this. Alright, this isn't too bad. Been playing a few of your builds, which made my life a lot more enjoyable. Cheers. A, hey, thank you, Mini. I'm glad you're uh, you're enjoying the builds, my guy. Yeah, don't get scared off by seeing the primalist leveling, man. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I can do to make this Eddie fucking better. Primalist leveling is so rough. It'll be good once we have it leveled. You're basically just melee swiping everything. I'm good to uh, push my Paladin Rive at 800 Corruption. Now I'm trying to push with your uh, Payments my Lightning build. Hey, nice, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, I hope you like it, man. Yeah, basically once you get Rune Master... And you get to the uh, the node that allows the uh, runic invocation to go off your skill bar. You're basically immortal at that point. For uh, for the first like seven eight hundred corruption, you'll just like take no damage as long as you're using it on cooldown. Should be pretty smooth sailing. Forest garb. Dude, my face right now feels like I uh, got a whole bunch of like Botox injections or something, man. I got so much fucking build up in there, man. It's making my head hurt. Nineteen. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. My ring still hasn't procked yet on this guy either, since I swapped. And those totems died fast too. Try to kill some of this density here for XP. A helmet! Calamity! Hey, we'll take that scepter though. That scepter is actually super clean. Get 
them all in these tight corners for the totems to uh, do their work. Alright, I think I'm going to go full invest into the auto bomber. I'm going to respect some of my strength nodes and just go for the attunement nodes early for the flat spell damage. I think, I think that's the play. Oh, if it won't let me respec, hold on. Do that. That'll give me some more res, and it'll give me a lot more damage. Because each uh, attunement for Gathering Storms is one flat spell damage. I can't even use that guy yet. Gotta be level 21. Ancient Forest. It's time to kill a dragon, boys. <laughs> Those alerts are still going off. Oh yeah, landing bolts are hitting way harder. Make it better for what I'm doing to auto bomber stuff too. Hey, we finally got this stat on our uh, ring. Let me clear this stuff up before I uh, fight big old dragon boy. These raptors can hurt with their bleeds. Actually, pretty good rolled. It just uh, doesn't have the flat damage that my guy has right now. All right, what do we hit on this? Lightning res. I'll try again. All right, dragon, come get some. Weird, he's just doing the shake off ability. He normally spams the uh, the frontal ability. Bye,
All right, let's go. Grab this guy. All right. And then perfect timing, so now we have the lightning bolt. I don't know if I can stake at above the stack limit. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Should be at least a little bit better now. So now I can do this to get a bunch of stacks. I can cast that to get some stacks. I need six stacks for, I believe, it to do the lightning. Or is it four? Yeah, it's six. I get another stack into the slumber, though. That should help. Now every level I get is going to be a, a pretty drastic difference. We smoothing now, boys. Yeah, it's going to cost a lot of mana for the Maelstrom, though. When I'm having to cast it less often, it won't be as bad. Maybe buy some mana regen gear next to Moon Town. It's already night and day difference, so. Let me get some of my mana back. Way better. Let's go. Hope you get well soon. Hey, thanks, Minthar. Yeah, it's just kind of my life, man. I, I get sick so easily. My immune system sucks. Hey, KB. Thanks for the follow, man. I think I might be able to turn my notification sounds back up. I think the uh, the gifted subs are finally done. Yeah, what are you playing, KB? What build are you working on? Save some of my mana here until we get to the boss. Bring everything with me and we'll just lightning it down together.
like music probably needs to be turned up a little bit too. I kind of was fucking around with all my sound settings when I was doing recordings because uh, my head hurt and it was a little loud. So I could uh, I could probably turn that up a tiny bit. Apologize. Living with small children means uh, chaining sickness for some of us. Yeah, yeah. I, I my son was at the hospital, you know, the other day, and I think that's when I got sick. Just going into uh, an area with a whole bunch of more sick kids, you know. I think uh, I think that didn't help. I need skill levels right now, man. Extra, every extra point I get right now into my war cry and my uh, my maelstrom is just gonna drastically increase my damage output and help my mana issues. Probably close to a level. Yeah, there it is. All right. Yoink. Uh, where do I want to go next? I guess I could grab all the attunement notes here that I'm playing on grabbing anyways. That still does give me damage technically, so I'll probably go here next and to there. Two and seconds is just going to be the strongest for me while I'm leveling at least. Oh man, my wife's offering to get me food. Let's go, baby. What do we get, boys? What well, sounds good right now? What I really want is pho, but pho also is like the worst food to try to eat while streaming. You're just gonna hear me doing slurping sounds the entire time. So I'm trying to think what would be sounds good and also be good for stream. Can I get a drink too? Yeah, what do you want, Ben? I got you. Cool. 
Alright, I can use my scepter now too. Let's go. Nice. Critical success. That's a massive increase in damage there. Ellie res? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll level the Ellie res. It's not too bad. Yeah, Fizz res is a little bit better. I don't think there's any prefixes I really care about. I'm not blocking enough to do like the health gain on block or anything like that. I could also throw in some random idols, I guess, for res. I guess what do I need? Um I need fire res pretty bad and necrotic. I think my fire res stuff is all in one of my other characters. At least a little bit though. Yeah, I forget which character, but one of my characters was really... Uh, struggling with fire res. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Everything's at least generally at like 40% now. Okay, now if we go back to here... Put me right at the beginning where I need to go anyways. It's typically why you teleport out there. <laughs> Just get the fun, take a small break, or meet yourself briefly. Yeah. It's true. It's a little bit harder when I'm leveling, because normally I just go uh, and roll prophecies while I'm eating. But I'm still leveling. I don't got no prophecies. You guys ever had fun before? That's the fucking life juice right there, man. <laughs> It'd be harder for my wife to pick up pho too, so. There's only like one place near us that really gives us to-go containers for pho. And I don't know where she's going right now. So. I can grab fun. Uh, oh, you're hanging out, huh? What's up, babe? How's it going? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't actually know where you were going. I didn't have the energy to like take my headset off and like try to ask you when you were leaving. So I'm like, I'm just, I'm just gonna sit quiet. We'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, pho, pho does sound good. If you're, uh, if you're okay with that, babe. This guy's almost dead. There we go. Hey, Risky. Thanks for giving my wife a sub. She forgets to use her prime all the time. That's one felt like she needed a sub, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Need my maelstrom to level up, man. Need a little slumber stack so badly. Thanks, I guess the prime expired. Yeah, it does that. Every month.
Maybe I take the mana nodes on Gathering Storm to help me level. That way I can just sustain the Maelstroms a lot easier. I'm bored at work and subbing is fun. Wait, I thought you said you had today off! Hey, what's up, Fabula? How's it going, man? I think I've got Risky looking out. True, true. You do be doing that. <laughs> Alright, start grabbing these points. I'm good, you, huh? Uh, I'm doing alright. Yeah, I'm a little sick right now, but I'm trying my best. Level 11? Nice. What character are you leveling? Oh, finally. I got another level in here. Let's go Slumber Stacks. Alright. I want to come down sometime at the end of the year or next year to get a tattoo with you guys. Yeah, yeah. Do it, man. Also, no, I get the uh, 22nd. Oh, the 22nd. Okay. Yeah, you got a while then. Yeah, you should, man. Come down whenever you want. So let us know in advance, so we can uh, we can reserve the Airbnb. I mean, if you don't want to stay in the Airbnb, you don't have to. You can stay in a hotel too. <laughs> yeah, if you let us know enough in advance, we can. Uh, I'm sure we can help you out with that. Endurance. Oh, thanks. Spell lighting damage is actually pretty good. Let's see what happens on the uh, on the res when I try to slam it. I lose necrotic and Ellie res. Oof. I guess that's not, not that much worse though. And I'm gonna start getting a bunch of Ellie res from this guy. Let me do that. Give us a bunch of a little bit more flat damage. Plus the extra lightning res. Not bad. Yes, I see. Stay safe. Yeah, that note could be kinda nice for helping gain mana. At least temporarily. The actual gathering storm tree doesn't really matter that much. It's kind of funny. Tattoos. Are you gonna get a loaf tattoo with us, Ruski? Well, getting my little pony tattoos. That's what Loafy said. No, no, no. You're getting that that emote that you just posted right there. That's that's where you're getting tattooed. <laughs> my wife doesn't want that one, so that you you gotta get that one. I'm gonna have free branding for life. As long as you're alive, man, I'm getting free branding. And then we need to get a QR code right beneath it. So if anybody asks you what it is, they can scan it and it'll bring you directly to my stream. You wanna get your Di Diablo tattoo? There's actually a lot of really good artists down here. <laughs> You'll get that one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a couple of like crazy good ones. You'll you'll want to reserve them though. If you want if you want to like actually spend like a decent amount of money on a like a crazy crazy tattoo, um, there's a couple guys uh, that do some insane work. But like some of them have like an eight month like wait time. So, all right, let's get the let's get the mana node here. I forget I have two slumber sacks now. I don't have to cast it as often.
But oh, added the uh, a new epics, huh? Hundred percent. Yeah, I'll save up about five k before I make plans to come down and reserve uh, both my tats. Yeah. Yeah, we, I, I can uh, I can help you find some artists. My my sister has a whole bunch of tattoos too. Yeah, there's this one guy down in Salt Lake that I would love to get a tattoo from. I just like, yeah, don't have the the expendable income <laughs> to uh, to spend a couple grand on a tattoo right now. So. He does some like crazy like black and white like super realistic skull like type tattoos too. It'd be perfect for like doing a Diablo tattoo or something. Yeah, I'm not fighting that guy. Of the Haradrum? Yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember his name. Um it's Oak. Look up uh look up I believe it's I believe his shop is called Painted Temple in Salt Lake. Look that up and look up Oak and look at some of his work. Yeah, these archers hurt. Hello, first time checking in since your little dude's in the hospital. How'd everything go? He, he's doing better now, Mocha. Yeah, thank you, though, man. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, he, he, he had like a respiratory infection or something, and, um, and he, uh, he had his first asthma attack while being kind of sick, and so he just wasn't breathing very well. So, yeah, he, he was at the hospital for like 12 hours just doing like oxygen and, uh, and like steroid treatments. Um, and then we, we did have to take him back yesterday just to check up because he was starting to have a little bit of a hard time breathing again, but every, everything's good. Damn, he's dope. Yeah, he would, I think he would fit really well with what you're, you're kind of looking for, Risky, where you're wanting that, like, dark vibe from Diablo. I think, I think he'd be able to do that for you. Let's go this way. Here, man, uh, I had asthma as a kid and completely understand what the little man's going through. It freaking sucks. Yeah, I think a lot of it's just him not like understanding it yet, too. My wife has asthma, but you know she can kind of know when she's getting an attack and like how to calm down and stuff like that where just as a kid you don't understand that I hate that I can't see this guy's health bar. There's my nuts. Alright, we got all our stacks there. Uh, probably gonna go for the reduced cooldown next. I don't really need any of the crit stuff yet. I won't be able to sustain the mana, but once I get my mana in order, um, I think we'll be in a good spot. 
Then I won't have to like ever actually cast Gathering Storms anymore. I might be able to just go full Werebear at that point. Because I can use my Shout inside a Werebear. We'll see. See what happens. I guess that would cost me rage inside a wear bear, which would be hard to sustain. We'll see. Yeah, I want more of the black and white, uh, like my pre tets, yeah. Hey Junior, how's it going, man? What's up, what's up? So are we doing a new build around gathering storms or just using the old build to level for now? Um, I'm kind of just using the auto bomber setup to level. Um, I will be using some spell casting in the final version of the build, though. But I feel like Gathering Storm, just doing like the auto bomber stuff, is definitely the best way to level Primeless. Primeless is just such dog water to level, man. It kind of makes it a little bit less painful. What's the other stat that got on there? Oh, it's health. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll take that. Yeah, this build's actually going to be a druid mocha, so I won't be a shaman. I hate trying to go uphill with the leap. Sometimes it just like does not work. Let me turn up the notification sound again. Hey Cyber uh, Gore, thanks for the uh, thanks for the sub on YouTube, man. I appreciate you. I kind of feel like a uh, Blade Vortex character when I'm, playing, when I'm playing this leveling setup. Just casting those uh, those stacks whenever I get like Unleash stacks. Which is basically like my Lagoon stacks. I don't know, that's at least how it feels to me. Because the Maelstrom actually does pretty good damage at this low level. It's like doing more damage than I was doing before I uh, was just melee attacking.
Alright, I got all the Lagan stacks now. Should be even better. And I don't have to cast as often. I think my lightning bolts are hitting him. Looks like it. I thought just that, Blade Vortex, yeah. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like my main damage source or anything, because I actually, all my damage is coming from the lightning bolts that are being cast by Blade Vortex, or by, the, not by Blade Vortex, by Maelstrom. But, uh, yeah, it's actually doing pretty good damage right now. Can it give me the travel button? There we go. I wanted to thank you again for the early support you showed uh, my stream. I just hit 50 follower goal last night on my birthday, and I had like eight viewers the whole stream. It was super uh, good birthday present. Hey, nice, Mocha. Of course, man. Yeah, I'm all about helping out the community, man. You've uh, you've always hung out in my chat as well, so I appreciate you, man. I'm glad it's doing well for you. <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way. I'm gonna be honest, Mocha, I have no idea how old you are, <laughs> because I feel like you have the same thing with me, where you look you look like you could be like around the same age as me, but you also kind of have a baby face. <laughs> so <laughs> so how, how old did you turn, man? I turned 27, wow, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, alright, alright, yeah. A little bit younger than me. I think you're, uh, you're like around Risky's age. I think Risky's 28 now or something, something like that. 28, 29, something like that. Balding issue with the baby face and hoping the, that growing out a beard can help me look older. Hey, at least you have that option, man. I, I can grow a goatee. But I do not have the genetics for facial hair on the side of my face. Does not exist. Yeah, I do have the good genetics where I'll never go bald, though. So, I guess I gotta take what I can get. But I was I was joking with my wife uh, yesterday. Actually, I sent her this video of like this thing where they're like tattooing beards on people's face now, and I'm like, ah, eh? eh? I could I could finally get a beard. It's a fake beard, but you know, I don't think the sides of mine exist either. I'm just kind of letting it look like shit for now. I, I think that's a lot of it, though. Is you just gotta kind of let it grow out, and uh, sometimes it will just start coming in. I've tried that a few times with mine, and it never worked. But I know a couple of people who have done that. Where it went through this like shit phase for a couple months and then it was fine. Yeah, I kept I kept having the excuse when I was younger and I'm like, oh man, you know, by the time I'm 30, I'm sure I'll be able to grow a beard. It'll be fine, you know. I'm it's just uh just a slower start for me. And then I hit 30 and I'm like, well fuck. <laughs> I guess that's out the window. What class is the best HP regen? Um, either Druid or Rune Master. I think they they fixed the Rune Master node though, because there's only like one node on Rune Master that really gives them like crazy HP regen. And I think it was double dipping, so I think they fixed that though. <laughs> I grow a full beard in a matter of days, yeah? <laughs> I wish, dude. I'm starting to get my goatee back from, uh, from clean shaving from Path of Exile, but it still takes me like a couple weeks. To like, really grow it in.
Pretty sure they could do something like implants for your butt hair or something. I got plenty of that to spare, so they they can have all my butt hair. Lightning pen. Weeks my goatee uh, takes to grow in. Yeah. Talk to you later. No worries, Ben. Appreciate being here, man. All right. Now we can start getting all the extra attunement here. Bump up that flat damage of ours. <clears throat> What do we got over here? A uh, fix shards. Oh, dude, I'm gonna be rich. It's crazy how good it feels once you get the setup going for the auto bomber and how terrible it feels the first like 20 levels of playing the character. I know we have any idea of timeline when Ellie plans to do their uh, their first like league, uh, their first cycle. Yeah, they said it, it should be like three to four months um, from the original launch date. So that's the only general time frame we have. Somebody asked him on his last live stream a couple days ago too, and he said the same thing. So I think it launched like February, what was it like February 21st or 28th or something like that? So probably like June or July, if I can math correctly. I hate this area right here. I don't know why this one's always so rippy. I'm excited to see uh, see what they plan on changing. Yeah, February 21st, so between May, June, probably be a little bit longer if I had to guess. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see, we'll see. I can't wait till we start getting the hints though. See what the new content's gonna be, what the new boss is gonna be. So they did tell us they're giving us a pinnacle boss, like a shaper type boss from like Path of Exile. If you guys are familiar with that, so. It feels like such a waste of a zone. There's like nothing here. It's the shortest walk too.
What build are you going for with this character? I am going for greatness, Skura. <laughs> I'm going for greatness. No, I like to to tease my viewers and uh, and not give them all the information until after I at least hit echoes. So <laughs> I'll let you guys kind of piece it together and see what you guys think I'm doing. Typically the best uh, information is right at the beginning of the stream when I'm making the loot filter. It typically will give you the most information. Some of the XP from these guys real quick. I'm thinking Cold Dot Werebear. Uh, it's my build, so... Yeah, yeah, it won't be... Won't be a, a standard uh, a standard build. There's some people that uh, that tried to to make this build in the past, but yeah, this is a uh, it's gonna be be one of my builds. I might have given out too much information. People are gonna be able to uh, figure it out. Yeah, I, I typically make my own stuff. The last character we messed around with was uh, was not my build, but that's because everyone was like begging me to play the marksman. So I'm like, ah, whatever, you know, we'll do it. But uh, yeah, I typically do my own stuff. I can get inspired by other builds, but. It's a totem build, true. Yeah, you see the totem on my bar that I'm casting all the time? <laughs> it's a totem build, boys. Nah. Yeah, dru druid totem build. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, this eyeball guy needs to go away. He's messing up my fun time with uh, Admiral Hart in here. Hey bro, hey Dom, how's it going man? Sorry guys, I'm trying not to cough in your ear. Hey Voxum, thanks for the 100 biddies man, what's up? How's it going man, I appreciate you being here. I saw the loot filter making, just saying, yeah, 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 true. We're going swipe werebear. Just my two cents. I truly hope Last Epoch does not even think about being like PoE. PoE is a shit game for a new person. Maybe controversial. All the mainstream people that get divine after divine are not the normal average person that starts that game. Yeah, I, I think they'll. Uh, I think they'll do all right. I think they'll stick to their their identity for sure. I, I have never had more hopes for a uh, or, or more faith, I guess is the is the best way to put it, uh, of a dev team. Almost everything that I felt super passionately about the game, where I'm like, I really hope they go this route, uh, being like a, a a person who who has played this game very extensively. Um, and feels like they have a basic understanding for, for the direction that would have the most positive impact, even if it's not what people think should have the most positive impact. I feel like they've almost always been on the same page. It's like the uh, the ward thing, man. Oh, man. They did their live stream, and I know you guys have heard me say it a billion times, where it's like how annoyed I get when people are like, Nerf ward! Nerf ward! I'm like, no, please, don't nerf ward. Ward doesn't need to be nerfed. There's a couple outliers that need to be nerfed that that uh, affect Ward for very specific characters, and then they like said almost the exact same thing word for word on their live stream, and I'm like, oh, thank God, I love this dev team so much. They they actually like play their game and have like a, a high end understanding on uh, on how the scaling stuff works and and what should be fixed when when things go awry. 
Yeah, I think I think they'll be all right. I did start doing a strat yesterday uh, that the new average person could reasonably do. That's like 18 to 15 divines per hour. Um, yeah, it's Pee-wee's hard, but Pee-wee, I think, is trying to Pee-wee's trying to get more of a uh, alignment with Last Epoch. Honestly, if you look at all the the Pee-wee two stuff. It's all bringing it into a similar gameplay pace that Last Epoch has, and uh, and trying to like teach you things as you go, um, and simplifying. They have complexity in their systems, but they're simplifying it in a way that makes it easy for a new player to pick up, and but enough depth in it that a, an experienced player can really push that system. So I think Last Epoch two or Path of Exile two is going in the in the right direction. Where they're kind of going in the same way that uh, Last Epoch is. So, Last Epoch's definitely doing it right. When you have the big boys that are trying to start copying you, or like Diablo starting to copy some Path of Exile systems too, yeah. I agree, I just hope that they give uh, me alpha access so I can play in June. <laughs> yeah. Did they already open up the uh, entries for that? Should I have already been submitting that? Saying about how complex, let's say like you follow a guy, the gear doesn't correspond with the guide. Well, it's about how they approach the, com the complexity. Like Last Epoch has a decent amount of complexity. Um, but it, it puts it in a way that it only really impacts you at like super, super high end content. And as long as you have basic common sense, then you'll be okay for like building your character at like a decent rate. I had to go. I'll be back in a bit. Ain't no worries, Risky. Have a good one, man. Hopefully work goes okay. Hey, Boxum. Thanks for the follow, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Entries are not open yet, but you can register your email on PoE2 website to get emails about it. Okay. Yeah, maybe if my uh, my stream gets uh, popping enough, they'll they'll give me access. <laughs> I feel like they do typically prioritize like decent content creation. That way, they can get people excited about it and want to make content for their game. But I'll probably be too small of a fish to have any influence over that. Fuck, you feel like you're uh, growing with the character? You don't feel that way in PoE. I have three guys in the 90s in that game, and they even penalize you for trying to do higher maps. Yeah, I, you die once, four hours. I, I think they need to get rid of the XP death stuff for sure. Um, the other thing I'm like totally on board with, uh, or the one thing I think they should do that's more on the extreme side, I think they should uh, get rid of the cost of respecking. I, I, I feel like there should be no regret orbs in Path of Exile. Just get rid of them. Let people respec this freely. Like, who cares? That that would allow people to do a lot more, like, self-test testing and not feel like they're being punished. I feel like if they just added that to the game right now, the game would be in so much better of a spot for, like, new players. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm curious to see uh, what, what approach they take, but... I do still enjoy uh, Pewee though. 
Not as much this league. This league kind of sucked, but, you know, it is what it is. Alright, we need to go to the bottom side first. I've been making that mistake my last two characters. With the close after, they're focused on people that have supported the game for a long time, or people that they can tell are good at the game through crafting, breaking the game. That's yeah, good. I have uh, many thousands of hours in that game, so... Hopefully that means I, uh, I get in. They need to make recoloring sockets less pro problematic too. They're they're reworking the entire socket system. Yeah, your whole link system isn't gonna be tied to your gear anymore in PoE too. Oh, there's too many targets, man. My lightning bolts are just like targeting all the small ads to this big guy, and you kind of need to burst this big guy down fast before he uh, gets too many traps on the ground. I think I'm okay now. Completely agree with the respect stuff, feel like shit. I made all three of my Atlas trees yesterday. It was such a pain in the ass, yeah. Yep, let, let people respect and have fun with the game, dude. Who cares if they respect 20 times to do whatever is meta or, or whatever, just like, I, it's gonna allow way more builds to exist because people aren't gonna be terrified of making choices and they're gonna feel like they have to go off the build guide, which is a lot less new player friendly. But if a new player could spec into something and be like, oh, oh I wanna try this note, this looks cool, and they're like, oh man, that drastically made my character worse, uh, I'll just respect that back and then I'll try something else this time. That's, that's going to be how you make it new, more new player friendly for sure. Making the systems uh, easier to understand too is going to help, which they're also doing. But I think if they just made respecking free, it would be such a drastic turn in that right direction. I don't know. That's my opinion though. I have like 5,500 hours in the game and I've spent a lot of money in their store, so hopefully they like me too. I, I have spent thousands of dollars in BOE. Yeah. I think I have like, uh, I think I'm just shy of 5k hours in Steam, but I played on standalone for years. Uh, let's go up this way first. Body armor. I'm rich. Uh, let's grab the extra two points there, just for the extra two min strength. It'd be fine if they made respec use gold system. They're using PoE too. Yeah, as long as it's not too expensive. Like, uh, like last epoch, like they technically have gold to respec. We don't even notice it really. It's only to stop you from like obsessively respecting super super early on, uh, which I honestly I think is like a safe rail because you don't want to respect too much early on in the game. So I think it just helps encourage that. But I really like the respecting in, in Last Epoch. The gold system is fine for like passives, and then the skill uh, system is not too bad either. You know, it's pretty forgiving, especially end game. It only takes you like two. Two echoes, not like a hundred corruption, two three echoes to respect your your stuff. You die like once four hours, so six hours god, yeah for sure. Yeah. I don't know. That's that's how I would recommend them fixing a lot of stuff without like having to completely reinvent a lot of their systems. Which I think some of their systems do need to be reinvented, but you know. I think that's an easy way to kind of make it in a much better place.
But Flinch is here, try to tell him in person, but he's too focused. <laughs> my my brain is uh not running on all cylinders at the moment, so I'm trying I'm trying my best. <laughs> Thank you, Bib. I'll come uh I'll come grab food here in just a second. I wanted to let you know since you didn't see me come into your office. I thought I saw something in the corner of my eye, and then I just ruled it out, where I was like, ah, it was probably Odie. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I always get this part backwards. It's left side, then right side. I always do right side, then left. Fucking sandstorms, man. I gotta kinda stand close to him, sadly. Let's take out that archer that's just like pelting me. bleed duration I, I, I could stop right here all right there's one second let me go grab my uh, food from the kitchen let me uh change up this message too Yeah, baby.
Bad boy, sorry, I'm back. I had to mix all the broth and everything. Get it start cooking. If you guys haven't ever had pho before, I cannot recommend it enough. Like the the best fucking food ever. It's way better than doing like chicken noodle soup when you're sick. Yeah, let's go another zone or two. While I wait for the uh the bra or the uh the noodles to cook a little bit. I love it, yeah. Is when it's good. I've had terrible pho too. Can't really, uh, recommend. There's definitely there's definitely bad pho for sure. <laughs> bon appetit. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Bro, I just did uh 20 maps last night and got 20 D worth of essences from the new strat. Yeah. Nice, man. I honestly haven't played PoE in the last couple days. I've just been so busy with the Warlock video and stuff. And then like when I finally would be finished with stuff, I just wanted to like watch TV because I was just like too drained. I hate essences, really. I like doing I like doing essence threats. As long as you I typically play bossing characters though, so they typically have high single target DPS, so it makes the essence monsters a lot easier. I kinda wanna grab some mana regen gear. I wonder if this guy has any uh, gear I can craft on. Yeah, that'd be that'd be better for that. Just give me a bunch of cold res and one attributes. I guess these are pretty good. Those are fine for now. Although I could get the necrotic res. What's my cold res at? Oh, it's so far over. Yeah, I don't I don't need those. Let me grab the uh, necrotic uh, gloves he's got on him. And then the base crit is like insane from that helmet base. What's on the shield? Healing effectiveness. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can uh, what we can make work here. Yeah, I think just a little bit of mana regen is gonna go a really long way. It's got void res on it. I do need to get more void res. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Give me that leech. Um, I can lose a little bit of fizz res, that's fine. And then I probably need to make up more of that void res I'm dropping. Attempt to... Alright, that's fine. I don't really have aspect of the shark, but you know, it is what it is. A little bit of base crit. Actually, I can, uh, there we go, 3% base crit. I'm just trying to add shock on here. I don't have a lot of shock chance. Alright, perfect. That should be enough. Alright, then I'm gonna get necrotic res from equipping these. I'll probably just put hybrid health on here. And what prefixes do I want? I can put more attunement for more flat damage. That's probably be the, the highest damage output. Um, honestly, the armor shred would be kind of good. At least have a little bit of that. Alright. Yeah, that should be pretty solid. So I need to add the Fizz Res that is lost, and then probably some hybrid health here too. Oops. 
speed. All right, sick. That's good. Um, what do I have on this ring? Just void necrotic. I'll probably do the same thing. Just put. Oh, it's already got two suffixes. Oh no, it's got one suffix. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. And then we get lucky. Yeah, we do. Uh, honestly, this one's probably still better. Yeah, I think that's still better. Gives me a good prefix, too. I love how much Ellie rest we're getting from that. It's like insane. Alright, we should be good there. Yo, just got a div from Tujin. Easy, man. Yeah, so I did early league to get a couple of my divs. Super easy strap manual and it goes by quickly. I posted my tab for sell TFT, sold literally instantly. What percentage did you sell at? Yeah, I love strats where I can just bulk sell stuff off the TFT's uh, tools. Alright. Um, I don't really want to mess around too much with the druid stuff right now. I'm going to start grabbing me my uh, tankiness stuff from Beastmaster, I think. I think that'll be the next uh, most beneficial thing to do. All right, I think my, my broth's probably had enough time to cook the noodles a bit, cook the meat. Let me see if I can uh, loosen this up a little bit and eat some. At 100%, huh? I guess everyone's doing corpse strats now, not really essence, but there's still a couple of crafts that you like, kind of have to have essence for. So that makes sense. Where did the music stop? Sorry, guys. All right, there we go. Yeah, I feel like everyone's doing um, Scarab stuff right now. So like everyone just has a plethora amount of Scarabs. You gotta sell it at like Can I connect uh, to your build of two LP things for Mage, for example, gloves to move further in Corruption? Um, are you talking about for the, the Mad Lightning build? You're just like trying to see if there's like unique items you can swap some of the Exalted items out for if they have like two LP? Is that what you're asking? So in the uh, 
in the build planner, I do have a like super juiced out Giga Chad build planner that shows like what uniques I would use if you were able to get a bunch of LP on them. Typically, I'd only recommend doing that at like three to four LP though. The exalted items are honestly really, really good just from the, the base stats they give before you even add any stats on them. Um, yeah, for the most part, yeah, that's a, a 2 OP. I, I feel like the Exalted would outweigh it, correct. Hey, what's up, Kane? Oh uh, yeah, we're doing Jura this time. I'm just leveling it the same way as the Shaman, because leveling as a Primalist fucking sucks. Oh, nice, how come? Did you come up with a cool build? Yeah, I got something pretty good, cool theory crafted for it. I'm excited. I haven't done Druid yet this season, so sound like fun. It'll be, it'll be good. It'll be a good time. Yes, sir, I can share some info, Kane. It's gonna be transformation. I'm going to be some kind of druid transformation. Whoa! That's crazy, Loaf. How does he do it? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm like shoving my mouth full of uh, noodles right now. Makes it a little bit harder for me to talk. Oh man. Fuzz is the best, guys. Holy. This is definitely what I needed.
What are you up to, Kane? What are you playing right now? Now you guys want a hint? I'll give you a pretty good one. I'm uh I'm revamping an old build. That will basically give you 99% of the information you need. <laughs> Playing the palette, trying to farm uh, all the uniques and everything uh, but the slam glove. The gloves is definitely what takes the strongest or the longest amount of time to get. Feels quite strong. I want to get that, uh, get it 1k corruption. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Pelly's nuts, man. Yeah, Paladin's definitely the strongest build uh, that I've done so far this season. Alright, noodles are done. Let me swap my message around here. Get rid of the eating part. Now we can get to blasting again.
basically just a walking simulator while we're leveling. Fucking easy peasy. Stop and kill this uh, little bit of a density here. Get all that sweet XP. Downside of eating like really hot broth is now my face is just like giving out. It's just fucking leaking everywhere. I'm over here crying. Judging by the name, it will be a bear druid. What? What are you talking about, Kane? You think so? <laughs> I like the name. I like the name, okay? I thought it was funny. probably kill some of these blood guys so I don't get too many because I can actually shotgun you down pretty hard because I have to fight the boss here in a second. Let's go, big boy. It's wakey wakey time. Yeah, let's let's walk out of the poison, huh? You think we can do that? Is that an option? Had some work stuff this week and be gone most of the day. Need to get some uh, to bed soon. Uh, I'm too tired. Hey, dude, no worries, man. Yeah, hopefully your uh, your week's not too long, man. Doing some OT. That was a pitiful leap. Do you think your new uh, Warlock build is hardcore viable? Looks fun. 
Um, I probably wouldn't do it in hardcore to be honest, Julian. It's, it's pretty tanky early on, um, but it's a little bit squishier because the, the big things I was trying to focus on not doing was using the um, Ghost Flame and uh, the little ball ability that every single Warlock is using. Uh, I, I just didn't find that very fun or, or engaging. So, well, I guess I can get the Stormbolt Shock Chance there. That'd be pretty good. Um, so with me not abusing those nodes, it is a little bit squishier. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I probably wouldn't. You, you could like do it as long as you were not trying to like push heavy corruption. Like if you were just doing a couple hundred corruption hardcore, it'd probably be fine. I just want to be honest about it, you know. I don't want you to waste time leveling a character and then get to like uh, 400, 500 corruption and then randomly die, you know. Typically, if you're doing hardcore, you don't really want to be pushing past that anyways, though. So. It's once every three months I have meetups with my team and I have to be with them most of the day. It's tiring, but it's cool, I guess. Okay, at least it's not too often, though. Yeah, just kind of like calibrating where everyone's at and... Trying to make sure everyone's on the same page. I get that. God, I hate these monsters so mad. Little ball sacks with necks. I wish you could change the third person view, that'd be dope in my opinion. Yeah? Just like, over the shoulder? You kind of are in third person view, just like a zoomed out third person. Took me dropping my Scarab down to 70% to sell it, still 15 div though, nice dude, hell yeah. The Revenge of the Ball Sacks, true. Yeah, those guys creep me out. There's no monster in this game that creeps me out as much as those guys do. The one that vomits a worm. Yeah, you don't like that one either. <laughs> oh man, have you guys watched the uh, the spinoff series for the boys on uh, on Amazon? I just watched it last night. I watched the entire season while I was editing. <laughs> That's one of those shows that, like, I'm normally pretty good with gore, but some of their stuff, I'm like, whoop! Alright. I did, yeah. It, it wasn't as good as The Boys, obviously, but, you know, it was pretty good. Not bad. I like the idea of, like, realistic superheroes and what they would be like if they did exist in our current time. And that that's generally how I picture them. They'd probably be all self-centered assholes who don't care about other people.
That's what I like about the boys. It's realistic. Yeah, yeah, I love that idea of it. I like dark stuff, though. Like, my wife wants, like, happy ending, like, superhero people win type stuff, where I really like the dark, gritty stuff. Like, yeah, that's that's 100% how it would happen. They, uh, they care about their social media ratings and, uh, and what they look like on camera. It's kind of like, you know, real-life actors a lot of the time. They're all kind of dickbags for the most part. You know, there's some that are really good, but majority of them are uh, not great people. They feel like they're uh, above people. Plays Homelander does a fantastic job being hated. Yeah, he does, dude. His facial expressions are are priceless too. Yeah, he does a a phenomenal job. Come on, summon the boss. Oh, was he already there? I didn't realize I, I killed him already. A close-up like uh, Gears or Helldivers 2 would be dope harder in a way, but it would uh, a game like this would be savage to see the carnage from that view. You know, that was almost the direction they took for D4 Risky. That they were originally going to make it a first-person game. And uh, they ended up scrapping like a couple years worth of work for it. Decided it wasn't the direction they wanted to go. I love Banshee, so that helps too. Yeah. Oh, about first person, but third person would have been fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been pretty crazy getting uh, up and personal with all the uh, dark, creepy stuff. You definitely have to pay a lot more attention or uh, focus on making your graphics really good, though, if you're going to be up and personal like that. So it would have made the game take way longer to do. Probably scrapped the idea and the team, yeah. So playing it just because of that, yeah. Yeah, maybe. It, it, it's a cool concept, but, you know, no one else has really done it with the genre, so who knows, you know, how uh, how well it would have been received. Like a Mass Effect type of uh, camera. I think that's what Risky's talking about, yeah. Art to me isn't bad, especially if it, uh, visually, if it fits playing slower, yeah. Yeah, it could have been interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, let's see. What do I want to go for next? That would make the leveling experience easier. I feel like I, uh, I feel like I got it, right? Let me pull up my tree real quick. I want to look at it and see where I feel like going first. Uh, actually, I want to go top first. Easier. Tornado! I already did tornado.
Been there, done that. I heard that maybe season four D four is decent. Yeah, yeah, I heard that too. Henge no jutsu. What? I've heard of talk no jutsu. Yeah, I hear. Uh, I hear the new season of D four might might be good. It's always hard to tell though. Look, I'm a bear. My rage just sucks right now, so makes it kind of hard. Raw. I'm big bear. I can use it kind of uh, get around a little bit though. Did you not see Naruto? I I've watched Naruto many, many, many times all the way through. Which one's Henge no Jutsu? I don't I don't remember that. I know Talk no Jutsu. I'm actually rewatching with my son right now. We just watched the uh Hadan and uh what's his name? His partner. Kakasu or something like that. The final fight with them. When they transform. I didn't know it was called that. Interesting. Kakazu. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Sad episodes. Yeah, the bear is going to take a lot of points into it before it's actually usable for me, so... I'll take a little bit of time. I need a lot of druid passives, and I need a lot of bear uh, nodes in order to get the rage at a good enough spot. Rosin Shuriken OP, true, true. Except the early stages, it like fucks up his arm. Look at the vendor real quick. See what we got. All those are pretty low, right? I could try another chance at the gloves. Alright, so I went hybrid shred attunement. Yeah, it's definitely better. How's the scepter look? It's gonna increase lightning damage on there. Oh, the melee fires here three though. It's gonna be really hard to get off. This could be really good if I could uh, get lucky here. It'd get rid of my leech. I could just run the bleeding heart for the time being. That would be really good. That'd be considerably higher DPS. I think I just do this. Now I have some leech. I get inflicted with some bleeds, so but it should be fine, honestly. I got a couple more idle slots to help make up for the res, too.
Six percent and three percent. All right, that's not bad. They nerfed it as soon as uh, as soon as it was used. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can you imagine going through all that crazy training, use it like twice, and then they're like, all right, no more of that. You're done. You're like, wait, what? But why? I like the Akatsuki arc as the whole. Yeah, the Akatsuki arc is like one of the best arcs. Will this use any rare uniques? Uh, yes. <laughs> Um, just like, you know, one, uh-oh, is the game gonna crash? Oh, there we go. Just like one to two, maybe, maybe, maybe three. Depends what you consider, consider rare. There's actually one of the uniques that's rare enough that I, I don't think I actually have one yet that I'm going to have to go farm. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's some rare stuff in there. Rare is like Twisted Heart. A normal unique is like Fire Starter Torch for me. Okay. Yeah, there's... um If... if Twisted Heart is what you would consider rare, then I would say there are three rare uniques in the build. Uh, and then one medium one. Uh, I want to go up one and then turn left. Thirty-six. Yeah, <laughs> RIP. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the one I don't have isn't mandatory for the build. That's going to be the hardest one to get. Not mandatory in the slightest. It's just going to be really nice when pushing high corruption. Why did those guys get stuck together? They shouldn't be pathing that way. That's weird. Yeah, we're we're getting to the point in the uh, in the cycle where I feel more comfortable including rare stuff in the build, um, just because most people that are playing a decent amount are probably going to have a good majority of the uniques as long as they've been saving uniques as they've been playing. Uh, you you probably have a couple of them, Kane. You probably have a couple of them. So I have, uh, um. I have five uniques in the build in total, and I bet you have like two to three of them at least.
Okay, I can work with that. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll be good. It'll be good. Yeah, and then I'll need to be setting up prophecies to uh, to farm the one I don't have. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. Yeah, these nodes right here are the big ones for, for the rage issues that Bear has. I'll have to fine tune kind of my rage generation as I go. Let's kill uh, the caster here. She's pretty weak. Knock them out of the poison. This build's actually pretty good at taking on two bosses at once. Since my lightning bolts are coming down a couple at a time anyways. And they can't hit the same target multiple times. I was made for this. Yeah, Zarek's almost dead already too, so... I have a level 78 druid I want to turn into a werebear, but I haven't seen any updated builds. Any recommendations? I'm currently frostbite druid. Uh, give me a day or two, Viva. I got you. This is going to be a werebear build. Yeah, give me give me some time to cook. And I got you. Look, I'm a bear! Rawr! I recognize these mountains. I must hurry. My rage generation is so bad right now, though. <laughs> Sucks that when I come out of bear, I'm like out of mana too. Yeah, it's still kind of more beneficial for me to just like stay out of bear for the time being. Alright, let's kill some of this density here real fast. I'll bet Pez say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, I got you. Yeah, we're we're gonna be uh we're gonna be doing some bear shenanigans.
my sinuses right now feel like they're uh, two like water balloons that are like overfilled and about ready to pop. <laughs> that gives you a good visual. Oh man. So much freaking pressure in my skull right now. Let me kill some of this density. Some of these big boys. Give me good XP. I guess this bear is more like a tanky build than a DPS. Uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see, Kane. I think it'll have pretty good DPS. It should be uh pretty tanky. Decent DPS and uh, really, really fast. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see how everything pans out, though. Where do I want to put stuff right now? Let's put stuff here for the extra damage on Stormbolt. Uh, right now I need the rage generation. We'll focus on that. Damn, I just rolled a corrupted 72 maps and only got one Val Temple out of it. Yeah? I end up getting a bunch of the div cards. For Val Temple. You trying to do like a Val Temple strat with the strong boxes? I might actually be able to play PoE today. I'm so far behind though. Are you getting to do your next video guide on this build? Um, I don't know, uh, Nephi, honestly. I have like a couple of builds like already done that I've already played on stream that I could do build guides on. So I still have a shaman and I've got a a marksman that are both like level 100 pretty much done. I want the shaman to be a little bit better. I think I can tweak some stuff around with it to make it stronger before I do a build guide on it. But I've got a couple options to be able to uh, pull from at the moment. I'm just kind of picky on where my builds are at before I like do build guides on them. Mm, minion damage. Yeah, so I think I'm fine. None of that stuff looks too good. I'm almost done with the campaign too, and then I can uh, swap over to doing echoes and get the Giga XP. It gives me the waypoint automatically. Yeah. Okay. No, they are worth 60 C a piece right now, so it'd be good profit if I had Valtel. Really? I think I have a bunch. <laughs> That's crazy. What? They always. It, it's got to be something to do with the uh, like weird strongbox shenanigans people are doing. Yeah, maybe actually play Path of Exile tonight when I get off stream. I don't know. It's been a couple days. Let's see if I feel up for it. I'm so far behind everyone now. I got like 15 div to my name. My character's alright though, he does pretty good. He can do like Sanctums pretty easily. Even with like the pretty minimal amount of investment I put into him.
A strategy with rogue exile strong boxes getting 50 60 strong boxes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking of, Maka. Not behind me, yeah. <laughs> I have like three div. Easily print like 600 fractured items. Oh, dude, I did see the fracture stuff. That looks nuts. Honestly, though, it might be kind of good that I haven't played in a couple days. All the really expensive gear is going to be so fucking cheap with like all the corpse crafting and like crazy fracture stuff people are able to do. Like getting a single fractured item is probably actually like really fucking cheap right now. Cold and void res. My cold is pretty good. I might be able to change that though. But I'm happy, yeah. There you go, that's all that matters. I saw four fractured item, nice. I tried the fracture printing thing and oh my god, it's crazy, but it makes me want to <laughs> KMS with having to check uh, that many I Yeah, I get you. It took like 30, 45 minutes per map because there was just too much stuff. Yeah, have you seen the corpse crafting for fractured stuff? Where they're creating like triple fractured items um, that are like guaranteed to pretty much be the right mods. I think it was like Tuna I was watching do it, or somebody that was creating like Hex Blast wands. Uh, let's go this way first. Uh, I should have went this way. Yeah, yeah, I forgot there's two over there. I keep trying to change my pathing that I just like know. I don't know why. Going to bed for the night. Have fun with the build. Hey, AK, no worries, man. Have a good night, man. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. You'll have a much better idea on the build tomorrow for sure. Should be uh, fully cooked by then, and at least like functioning as a as a core build. Be a good time. I triple fractured an imperial claw, so I could do lightning strike later. Yeah, where their videos came out. Yeah, yeah, the triple fracturing stuff looks pretty nuts. Entire quad tab completely full of corpses right now that I farmed up. Working on a quad tab full of all flints as well. Yeah, I feel like this league is uh, was a secret, uh, a secret league where they're just getting everybody to buy a ridiculous amount of stash tabs. We add enough lack of quality of life and enough items. Everybody will have to buy stash tabs. <laughs> hey, thanks for the sub on YouTube, guys. I appreciate that. I like delayed damage on it. That's kind of weird. All right, Gasser's dead. He's the only scary one, honestly.
My first exalted item. Hey yo. I'm just gonna stay right there. Hello, hey, what's up, cool dude? A bear build? Now I'm interested in this build if you uh, do your magic as you do. Also, hey, sorry to hear Sigman. Hey, no worries, Blitz. Yeah, we're doing a bear build, man. Doing a bear build. Not bear yet, but uh, just because we don't have the raid sustain yet, but we're getting there. It'll, it'll be good, it'll be fun. I already have three quad tabs. Uh, don't really see the need for more at the moment, but I do have like 15 of the regular tabs. Yeah, I've got a couple quad tabs, and then like, I don't know, yeah, like 10, 15 of like the regular ones, something like that. Not there yet, so not there yet, yeah. The puns! I'm so punny. Ha 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 ha. Uh... Take that for now. That's when you get to that uh, other node. It's like my my name, Los Barely Casting, because <laughs> I'm a bear. <laughs> I can barely stand the puns. True. True. Rune of Ascendance? Oh man, I'm rich, dude. Let's go. Putting those spiders through the blender. I wish you could make Maelstrom damage, like, actually good. Like, past the leveling stage, because it's pretty dope when, uh, when you're leveling. Like, not bad at all. Hey, Stary Dojo, thanks for the follow, man. How's it going? I'm playing the Pally Build right now around 300 Corruption. I feel like Smite DPS is great, one slow mana, but uh, Divine Bolt DPS slowing down. Am I doing something wrong? It's harder to clear echoes. So, the most important thing for that build to have like scary good damage is armor shred because your divine bolts are going to be hitting really really fast so you want to make sure you have as much armor shred on there as possible so do you have like a chance to shred armor with fire skills on all of your idols and um trying to get like armor shred everywhere else you can get it to if you're able to get on your amulet that's pretty good um or if you can get it on like your gloves yeah just armor shred is king uh for helping out the Divine Bolt damage. I have all the idols, yeah. Yeah, I'd have to actually like look at it to like see where where the damage is lacking. Cause I have like a thousand corruption, like it's doing pretty good, honestly. <laughs> um, it does kind of have like similar damage though at like five under corruption that it does at a thousand, just because um I, I get to hit stuff a couple more times on a thousand corruption, but then my damage ramps up so fast because of the armor shred that it feels like it's almost the same kill time, honestly.
trying to get more though. The other thing is that sometimes my ward doesn't spike up right away. Um. That could be if you're running out of mana. If you're draining your mana too much when you're doing your smite shenanigans, then healing hands won't proc. Um, so that, that could be it. I, I'm assuming you have the drain health gloves. Because uh, Divine Bolts has to... Uh, Divine Bolts and Healing Hands has to actually heal you in order to give you the ward. And it will always be healing you with the Drain Gloves, so I'm assuming you have that. I know I need to hit like 1k healing though. Yeah, the healing hands or the, the healing effectiveness definitely drastically increases the amount of ward you're getting per cast. Cause I'm getting like a like a couple thousand every time I uh, do a cast. I hate this ice area so much. There's so much like random projectile damage just falling from the sky and like shooting at you from across the screen like everywhere. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Gotta keep these guys all kind of close together. Let's scooch him around with my war cry. anything? Nope. I right, just gotta kill the tree guy and then we're basically done. I can go do the uh, um, the sapphire tablet too if I need another point. I have Yulia's path but I want LP on it. Still farming for more. I just don't want to lose uh, some key boost sets. Yeah, yeah, it's not super crazy important. It's just easy to get a bunch of res off Yulia's path and the healing effectiveness is really nice. Uh, yeah, the healing hands uh, is the only part that actually gets improved DPS for healing effectiveness, which you have to be like right on top of them to increase your DPS for that. But if you're doing like single target bossing stuff, you typically do want to be like kind of melee range because you're just going to have higher DPS. Yeah, you're welcome to uh, you're welcome to post your your character, um, either your profile or uploading your character to Last Epoch Tools in the uh, build help section on Discord. And if I have some time after stream, cool dude, I can look at it and see where you can get the most bang for your buck for trying to get upgrades. Yeah, I like to stack on bosses, which is why no complaints with the Smite DPS. Yeah, Smite DPS is nuts for sure. Yeah, I got my DPS uh, on Smite to the point where I was hitting like a million DPS on the dummies with every single Smite cast. It was just getting fucking nuts, dude. Obviously, this without like armor and stuff, so it's easier to get higher, but still crazy. You're alive, I am alive. Nice to know uh, what I don't use Discord as much anymore, but I'll join yours and check that out. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, it just uh, helps me kind of keep track of where people are at and where they uh, where they need help. So I just have a separate channel where you can post your uh, your build link. My second exalted item, cold res.
Actually crazy how tanky this build feels early on. I just have so much leech going on and then just uh, the tankiness from Beastmaster. Pretty nice. I only died in the one time, and that was before I had, like, my actual auto-bomber set up. Would you say that the Warlock build is an upgrade to Healing Hands, or more just, uh, for variety? Uh, it is... Pa the Paladin build is by far the strongest build I've posted, uh, cool dude. Um, it's just the most well-rounded by far. It's got good area clear with Divine Bolts, it's got good single target with Smite, it's got insane tankiness levels with, uh... Um, all of the healing hands ward so it is the warlock is definitely not an upgrade uh for that build um the warlock was more of a fun project where warlock in general i don't think is like super crazy anymore like it used to be like one of the top tier classes when it had all the bugs going on that were giving it like 80k ward and stuff and like a billion ignite chance for damage um so uh, that that one's not going to compare as much as like corruption pushing but it was just a really fun build to make and you know it can do like probably 750 corruption just fine if you have like good gear but uh yeah no not oh my god it's fucking icicles things i have to get kind of close to this guy which sucks he's kind of an anti-melee range and i have to be close enough for my lightning bolt rocks to hit him What happens if that guy dies? Can he like actually die? <laughs> He's getting kinda low there. Cause I do uh think healing hands is an upgrade to Rune Master in my opinion. Yeah it is, it is. Yeah, the Paladin is the strongest build. Uh the Rune Master does have better clear than the Paladin, but that's the only thing it has better. The Rune Master is very visually appealing and just like a really cool archetype that most people really enjoy. But yeah, the Paladin's the, the strongest build if you're just trying to measure off of that. Alright, what do I need? Yeah, I should be able to get that from just doing the, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit quests. Shining Cove. I've dropped my, uh, from my build and used Javelin over a thousand corruption now. Yeah, ja Javelin's not bad, um, but Smite's just so much more single target DPS. So like, Iva's done all of the setups uh, for their builds, and uh, the highest kill time uh, they've had on high corruption was with my version of the build. So I've seen them do like a uh, Judgment version, Javelin version, uh, with only using like Divine Bolt as the filler in between. Um, and then doing like the Smite version, and the Smite version had the highest kill time, or the fastest kill time. Are you gonna do, uh, are gonna drop a tier, a top tier build that's better than the Paladin just to play before the cycle ends? Because I feel like the end of the cycle, it's okay to put like OP builds because things will change. Um, I played the Marksman. The Marksman is definitely the highest DPS build I've ever played. Um, it's just not very well rounded, so I don't like pushing it in corruption. It's just so goddamn squishy. So that was like my OP build I played that everyone's like, oh, you gotta play this. It's insane. And it was all right. It just lacked in other ways. But we got that to 100, so that's what I did for the last build. I want to go this way.
But yeah, I am slowly starting to make more builds with like rare items in it. Like my last marksman build, I put Orion's Eye in there, which is a pretty rare item. And then this build's actually going to have a couple pretty rare items in it too. But uh, the, the part that I really enjoy for Last Epoch is I just like making like fun new things. Just trying to find things that people haven't done before or haven't really messed around with too much and just making them at least viable. I see, I see, yeah. Uh, Gura, I don't have the build planner updated for the druid yet. I will probably have that as public access tomorrow. So I, I typically like to go through the campaign first and just get a better feel for the leveling experience so I can give you guys like a leveling planner too. Um, and that will typically drastically change based on what how I feel during the leveling process. So I just want to set you guys up for success. So I'll, I'll have something updated for you tomorrow if you want to check out the druid. But that's the marksman setup I did. All right, well, that's the uh, that's the campaign. Let me grab this temporal uh, dungeon waypoint real quick. Ugh. Oh boy, my back hurts. You're a build scientist, and I enjoy uh, thoroughly following your builds because I learn about the game from it. However, I'm kind of meta slave. I just like playing the strongest stuff. I get you, cool dude. There's a lot of people like that. I was like that for a long time. And then after a while, after just playing all the meta stuff, then I eventually just got bored. Or like, okay, I've, I've tried all the meta stuff like a hundred times now. And uh, I need to turn this quest in. And now I just like want to play the, the game in a unique way. So I'm always looking for that like new thing. Like all the mechanics you explain, I need that right now uh, as I'm starting this game. Yeah, no, I get you, I get you. That's kind of my uh, niche for build guides where I fall into is just uh, over explaining everything to try to help new people uh, understand how things like scale in the game and, and stuff like that. So I get you. I threw about a hundred corpses in a, a trade stash tab and I'm getting about a hundred messages per minute. Fuck this league. <laughs> yeah, I, dude, I, I haven't been having as much fun as I hoped I would have, honestly. Jesus Christ, phone, I'm not talking to you. Holy crap. Dude, it keeps popping up Siri like a billion times this stream. I don't know why. Something I'm saying is triggering it. It's like, what, me? You, you want me? Three bars off 101, yeah. Is it worth the headache, nor is buying them? Oh, it can be. Um, a lot of the guys from the guild are just buying corpses and doing giga crafts. And, you know, they're, they're making a lot of money. They're making a lot of money per hour. We're just going to go right into it. Not going to change any of my gear. I'm just going to go into it and see what happens. Let's go, Echoes. Let's get that big XP. It's a crit shrine? Oh, baby, let's go. I watched a couple people do Giga Crafts, takes them like three or four hours to buy all the corpses and set up the graveyard, and then you wasted all your time with it. There's a couple crafts that are like guaranteed, Gallus. Or where they're like either guaranteed or even the worst case scenario is still like well into the profit range. 
like doing uh, the Giga Ellie bows, it's almost uh, like uh, even the worst case scenario is still very good. At least it was, you know, a day or two ago. I don't know what it's at now, but. I'm a little under leveled for this, but it's all right. We're killing them. Yeah, right, I can probably engage the boss now. I just didn't want there to be like 30 monsters there, at the same time. that he doesn't have a health bar. I want to see how much damage I'm doing. And I can't stand next to him because he keeps doing that stupid rain of arrows thing. I guess I should start specking it out more like what I'm going to have it at. Man, there's so many things on this tree that are just bad if you're auto casting. Like a lot of this just doesn't do anything for you. I'm just going to keep taking the... Uh at least this one gives me generic damage to all my storm bolts. All right, start getting to the start getting into the crit nodes here. I just got a level two. Oh yeah, we can get the. Uh... The health leech on crit's kind of nice. Uh, the big node is this guy right here. The rage on crit. That's the fucking, that's the tits right there. Uh, can cast speed on gloves drop for a paladin in monos? Haven't seen any. Yeah, you can get cast speed on gloves. Uh, gloves are a generic uh, item. They're not class specific. Sorry guys, talking to my wife. But yeah, you can get cast speed on, on gloves for sure. Oh, I just grabbed my fucking window. My other monitor, I forgot I don't have it locked. I always take it off lock when I'm like recording videos because I'm constantly jumping between them. <laughs> Especially when I'm doing like crafting explanations and I have to use like calculator tools to like show people what I'm looking for. These first couple echoes are gonna be nice and slow, but they should give me some giga fucking XP. Keeps like backing out of my range for my st storm bolts. There's so many snakes.
I could just get an XP shrine on one of these. That'd be sick. Alright, I can't leave too many of these snakes alive. Because they're just going to add so many poison stacks. And I can't deal with that kind of dot damage at this early. Ooh! Maybe I do just have to run past them. Holy shit. I need to leech off something. There we go. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is a uh, very difficult being under leveled going against snakes. Look at all those little poison projectiles shooting everywhere. And they make it hard to stand next to them with their tornadoes. They have to be within like a certain range, otherwise my lightning bolts don't hit them. Like the worst mob type for this build. I can't wait till I'm just like full bear. And I won't just give a fuck about any of this. Alright, there we go. Holy. I haven't seen any of 3 LP Hand of Judgment deciding over T7 cast speed or T7 attunement. Probably cast speed. Um. Yeah, cast speed's typically uh, the way to go if you're playing with smite or divine bolts. Because that means more armor shred, which means more damage. And that also means more healing hands procs, which means more health, or more ward. So I, I typically go cast speed, yeah. Yeah, these guys are all just healing like crazy, man. Oh, rare enemies regenerate health, that's why. I was like, why does everything feel so goddamn tanky? But yeah, when I'm just barely entering manas and I'm like under-leveled and stuff, <laughs> and everything's just regening health, and I'm sometimes out of the range of being able to damage the snakes, they're just regening all the damage I already did to them. Oh, come on, I was out of that. Whatever. Get rid of the boulder boys here, so I can actually focus on the snakes. Yeah, I didn't realize how bad regen was going to be on uh, at such a low level here. Alright, let's get the fuck out of there. I wanted those XP tomes, so... I got a lot of levels out of that, though. That's for sure. Uh... Yeah, let's go that way. I want the tones. XP tomes are really big at this early level. I 
Thank god the negative mods only last for like one echo on this level. So I already have the regen gone now. Drag everything with me, it'll all eventually die. There's so many tornadoes. I hate snakes. Why are they in every single echo? Oh shit, I died. I didn't realize I had that many stacks of poison on me. Yeah, these dang snakes are in every fucking echo. It's alright. I didn't care about the reward on that one anyways. It's the next one I care about. Hey, this one probably won't have snakes since it's a like fire damage based one. Just ball sacks and boulder boys. At some point I should go like redo all my gear too. I've been mainly rocking the same gear since like level 20. <laughs> If I die again, I'll uh, I'll go revisit my gear. I care less about it since I already died early in the campaign, where I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I already lost my deathless tag. Ouch. These guys all have the tag that's giving them increased power while they're in combat. That just like keeps infinitely scaling. Six. We got our last skill at level 50, so that'll be pretty big. Oh, come on. I would love to just get, like, echoes with skeletons in it. Or all the mobs aren't like super fucking tanky.
need to get that bubble guy down. He's making everything take so much less damage, too. Oh, he's got regen health. Easy. <laughs> like an eight hour fight, but it's all good. I didn't get any levels on my skills on that one, huh? I guess for now, I can probably just grab Forest of Nature for the extra flat damage. Time to go to bed, see you tomorrow. No worries, Minnow. Have a good one, man. I hear the bonk from your stream, and I go, what the fuck? Look at my screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of bonks there. I should probably try to upgrade some of my gear, though. I wonder if I have any exalted gear I can actually wear. Let me, uh, let me vendor all the random shit in my inventory. Both of those are half decent. Yeah, all those we might be able to use. And let me see what uh, if I have anything that's I'm in the exalted range for. I wish I could search just by like my level of what I can equip. The downside of all this exalted gear is I can't really craft on any of it. What I could do though is pull off the exalted modifier, and then it would have like a ton of forging potential on it. That's the other option. Like, if I could take off the Exalted modifier off that, that'd be pretty good. I guess it's a uh, Primalist, not Druid. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna play someone Stormcrow. It's like, that'd be a good one to try to pull. Sam and time will transform and exalted health. That's pretty good. Like one of those, these could be both really good if I could uh, pull off the exalted mod. That chest armor could be good for later on, honestly. I don't really want to pull that off. Let me see if I can pull any of these off real quick. So the, the point of doing this is I, I get way more forging potential on exalted items, and if I could pull an exalted mod off of it, then it still gives me all that wiggle room. Nah, it took out too many. But I still have T4 to level of Gathering Storms, which is pretty good. So if I drop the chest piece off, honestly, I'm probably gonna replace the boots too, and the uh, and the relic. What's my res look like? So I definitely need to get Fizz res on the chest piece. And then I'll probably just get a percentile health roll for now.
Yeah, for the time being, I'll put a two-man on here. I get a bunch of fizz res from the implicit too. So yeah, that's plenty to cap me. Get the extra damage there. That was not the mod I wanted up the first try. Dang, that took so much right there. Holy. Alright, well, that's gonna be a no-go. I can drop pretty much anything I have cold res on. If I, uh... I think it's just because I get all the Elia res from the ring. <laughs> Never lucky. Alright, cool. Feels good. I only need to get Void Res. Yikes, dude. I'm just losing all of my forging potential like right away. I guess the big thing would be uh, the scepter. See if I have any like good weapons I can use. Cause that would increase my flat damage by a lot. What's the base level that I can use? Like the highest base one without an exalted mod. Uh, let's see. So I'm level 46. I guess the one I'm using now would be the highest. I could technically use a Ice Scepter, but that would be for cold damage. I only have one, and it's for cold damage. <laughs> I mean, I could try. Okay, well, it did pull that off. I need the lightning damage and leech. That's actually really good. And then put a shock on here and then just start slamming the prefixes. That's pretty good. Not bad. Gave me a lot more uh, crafting potential there. That minus mana cost is kind of dope. That'll help out a lot with the uh, with spamming those. I wonder if I have any boots I can like pull off a mod. There we go. Oh, still too, still too high level, huh? I thought those are were a lower level base. I guess I can go Heoborian. Cause so I know I can wear those. I still want to pull off a mod that's like too good.
That was honestly not too bad. It's the last mod on there. Nice. Again? Dang, dude. Alright. Three for three. Alright, let me just see if I can uh, salvage this a little bit. Not too bad. That's pretty good. My belt's pretty uh, horrendous at this point, though. One of ours claim in a few levels, yeah. Hope you're right and feeling better. I'm getting there, Edward. I'm getting there, man. Yeah. So uh, I'm just really congested at the moment. Just got like headaches and stuff, you know. That's all good, man. I'll get over it. What's the base belt I'd be looking for that I could actually wear if I was able to pull any of this shit off? <clears throat> so I can do chain belt, plate belt, noble sash. Okay. That one's already fully crafted though. It's a random blue belt I have sword in here. All right. Those mods are all really bad. That one could be good. I can already wear that. I won't be able to craft much on it, probably, but that's a lot of extra health. Yeah, let me see what I can do here. Okay, there's still a little bit of crafting I can do. Pyrez, I do need a little bit, honestly. It's probably fine for now. Oh, nice. Let's go. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, that 30% health, or 23% health will be really big. Maybe swap to a Catalyst too. Just for the extra crit chance. Oh, that would drain all my mana though. Yeah, I don't think that would be worth it. I kind of need my mana. I'm already having mana problems as uh, that I'm dealing with at the moment. Um, I need a crit base one, so I need a skull base. What's the lower level skull base called again? Crystal skull is the high end one. So I have a branded skull and okay, so I want an osprey skull. I got one. Let 
mean, it's got Void Res on there. It's got a little bit of crafting potential left. If I can pull off the cast speed. There we go. Oh, it's still level 51? It says I should be 38. Oh, it's probably because I have a sealed modifier on there and a T5. Dang, that's too bad. Too bad. Alright, do I have any branded skulls? That'd give me a little bit more wiggle room. <laughs> it's gonna be the, uh, yeah, the rot mind. Which doesn't do me a whole lot. And I think that's it, right? Branded, Osprix, and Crystal. Now I can use it. I should only be able to craft it for as good as I can uh, I can use it. It's already got 5% crit on it too. And T4 Void Res, which is the thing I need. Um, probably just do lightning damage for now. Alright, there we go. Not bad. I feel a little bit better. Started playing some Diablo 4, it is fun for now. Getting punished badly for dying though. Playing Mage there as well. Going for Frozen Orb build, yeah. I heard the new uh, the new Frozen Orb build is going to be pretty cool. Are you playing in the PTR right now, or just like the regular live servers? Is it, when does the new season come out? I think it's soon, right? There's so many skeletons, what the heck? Alright, I need to just have these guys follow me for a second. I need to see if there's an XP shrine. Is this on the live service? Okay. Yeah, do you know what day the uh the new patch is, Edward? I might take a look at it. I don't know if I'll do it on stream, but maybe something to play off stream could be fun. Not sure, the last patch was on April 1st, read it online, uh, I just started, uh, days ago. Okay. Yeah, let me see. Um, Diablo 4, Season 4, release date. I don't know if they've announced it yet. It's delayed until May 14th, so we actually still got a while to go. From what it was saying online. Nice, we got two more XP tomes back to back now. <laughs> cool things to look over. Yeah, of course, of course. 
Yeah, it, it does look like it's a little bit more interesting than the other seasons, so I'm curious to see uh, how it does. It's good that they're pushing it back out to take more time that they need to if they need to as well. Yeah, I'll set up a proper loot filter for everybody tomorrow too when I make the uh the build public. Once I show you guys what it actually is, what I can sustain the rage. I don't think I uh I don't think I can sustain the rage yet. Maybe I can. I like promising for a second. Nah, it's still pretty heavy on the rage costs. Plus, I don't have any of my uh, my damage scaling for the bear yet. That's gonna come on some of the future nodes. It's not terrible though. That's not too bad. It's definitely faster. I need to get to the health on or the rage on crit, man. That's going to be the big one. We're getting pretty close to being able to have a uh, have the movement skill tree too. Hey, Risky, thanks for giving Dobby a sub, man. Appreciate you. Welcome back. Yeah, I need to have all the character or all the monsters more focalized here in the middle, so I can get more hits to get the rage on hit. Hey, and the sub the blitz, man. Thank you, Risky. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's like bugging out though. Hey, I thought you said you were all out. <laughs> Get sub to sinful. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Risky. You lied to me. You said you were all done. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm missing the main scaling node for the for the wear bear right now. Hit 400, very important. <laughs> yeah, no worries, no worries. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, I can't get I can't get all the maelstrom stacks right now either. I don't have any of the Maelstrom nodes yet in, uh, in Werebear. Alright, let me, let me jump out of that real quick. I definitely have higher damage just in human form at the moment. Until I can level that up a little bit more. The Boulder Boys! It's hard to kill them when they're all spinning constantly. It's like, I need to get semi-close. There we go.
Yeah, right now there's no point for me to use my roar. Until I can get the other, uh... Cass. Holy leg. The rage is starting to get there, though. Hope you get better soon. Hey, no worries, Henry. Thank you, man. How did I not know how dope bear looks? Yeah. The bear's pretty sick. <laughs> I'm just, like, barely starting to get enough synergy for it to look. Oop, I accidentally went back to human. I didn't mean to click that button. Oh well. Well, that was not too long. Level 50, baby, let's go. Which means I can grab this guy. Yeah, you, know, you only got one of them? Yeah. Yeah, that would do it. Would be a little bit harder with only one of the uniques. It's, it's doable though, yeah. You, mainly it's just the weapons too. That's like... You, you do really want to have the weapons. I feel like the charge ability is kind of bugging out. Also, it feels like these guys aren't taking any damage. Like, something happened, and then it's like... Hey, like, look, their health bars aren't moving. What, what's going on with that? Hold on. Let me let me change out a bear. Is bear bugged right now? Yeah, they died out of bear. Oh, that's gonna feel so bad if bear's bugged. Other stuff was dying, so maybe it was just those particular mob packs for some reason, like, weren't taking damage properly? But I was watching their health pools and their health pool literally wasn't moving for a second. I'm gonna take you bear. I keep getting like stuck. Hey, that actually kind of works though. When I get stuck on the channeling, because it still channels the lightning for me. But yeah, it seems like the bear might be kind of buggy. Yeah, the damage will skyrocket too once I can uh, get the proper nodes on the bear tree. Is there other druid builds that work well, or, or has no one really uh, found anything good? Uh, yeah, there's some other good druid builds. Are you talking about specifically with bear? I think they nerfed cold dot wear bear a little bit, but that used to be like the go-to for everybody. So I don't know if that's uh, still the case. Ooh, XP shrine, let's go. Go check out those other shrines real quick. Actually, I should probably make the most. Let me go human form so I can actually kill stuff a little bit faster. While I have the XP shrine going. Yeah, eventually I'll be able to maintain my Maelstrom stacks inside a bear, and then I'll have a different damage scaling for flat scaling, and then it'll be way, way, way higher.
Right now I'm mostly set up for like a tomb and scaling. Oh, we got another XP. Nice. Let's go. There, there's a one not delve into, or just a uh, kind of booty like shaman. No, it's definitely better than shaman. There's other transformations that are pretty good too, like Spriggan's pretty good, and the uh, um, whatever the fucking bug thing is called, is pretty good. Swarm blade. That's the thing I'm thinking of. Man, that bear is tanky. Yeah, yeah, it gets tanky. It gets tanky. I haven't even built into the uh, the defenses I'm going into yet either. But yeah, bear by default gives you like twenty percent extra health. So you can see I go from like 1300 to like, uh, like almost 1500 just from going into bear. But I'm curious, any damage skills uh, with vitality? Yep. Uh, you can do smite with, uh, with void knight. That's the like the only one that really scales with that. Alrighty, boys. Um, like I was saying on the other streams, I am uh, dropping down the stream times a little bit, so I'm doing typically doing like five to six hours a day now. Um, just until like things for last epochs are picking up back up so I don't burn myself too much during like kind of the downtime for last epoch so that is going to be it for me especially with me being sick I need to take a break um, so if you guys can hang around for a couple minutes I do want to find somebody to raid it's, uh, so, still playing some last epoch and I would greatly appreciate that but I, I think that's going to wrap it up for the stream tomorrow I will have a build planner ready to go for you guys so you guys can see kind of the full extent of what we're doing for the bear build, as well as I'll have a loot filter set up if you guys want to play it. That way it'll be easier for you guys to level with it. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Oh man, I'm getting so stuffy. I need to take more medicine for sure. Um, Who do we raid? I don't think I've seen this guy before. He's doing some interesting uh, stuff. All right, we'll read this guy. Great seeing things. Thank you for being here, Voxum. I appreciate you, man. Hey, you too, Edward. I appreciate you being here, man. If you guys want to check out the guy I'm rating uh, on the YouTube chat, I'll post his uh, his Twitch uh, chat in there for you. Thank you, Edward. Um, but yeah, if you guys can just say hi to him at least, make his day a little bit brighter, uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. I know the raids mean, mean a lot to us when people share their communities, so... I would just appreciate if you guys can take five minutes just to hang out with him for a little bit, see if he's uh, if he's worth watching. But yeah, other than that, guys, I'll uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I plan on streaming tomorrow as long as I don't get more sick, um, and then we'll continue with the bear stuff, man. Alrighty, guys, I'll catch you all later. Love you all. Have a great day. All right, that's it for me too, YouTube. I'll catch you guys 